and then he glanced over at the setup and sat back down. That's true. Glanced over at the great, setup, great, sat back down, listening, video. too busy popping off with his boys. Kenso turns around, does like two combos, and kills Liston. Just dead. All because he did ultra. And walked and, and away. It, it, no, no. Basically. No, if you watch the video, as soon as he popped Raiders ultra, Noel Brown, like, Noel Brown said, get up, up, get up, stand up, celebrate with me. And that was the end, man. That was that was the end. And that's the classic, do not get up. Oh, speaking do of not classics, get up before it's over. So we, got, so we got Gurr and Honeybee. This is going to be the run back from the Pro Series first round this year. Was Gurr, it the first round? Yes, it was the first round, Gurr and Honeybee. Oh, that's and, right. and again, if you're in that situation where you're the, you're the competitor, you want to study that first oh, round Gurr. match so Gurr's moving heavily. his screen. He's got the Tokido tape out. Yep. You got the Tokido tape, You got bro. the tape out. Gurr. Gurr's trying to wreck setups here, and I don't know why. He's like, is there any way that you could rip this? Uh, I don't... Wait, do we need drinks? Oh, do you want a Gatorade? No, I'm good, too. If you could find me another water, that'd be awesome. There's one here. Is that open? I don't think so. I think that's yeah, open. open. There's water there in that bag in the corner. Is there? Go get it. Or you can go get it. I don't care. All right, thank you. Explain yourself. All right, so... Let the intros rock. Just a PhD candidate with a quantum bio belt. Wow, what a Just nerd. Another thing I'm faster than. Nerd. Uh, nerd. 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 Loser. Oh. oh, and Gurr gets the first bar. Not. I mean, are we surprised that Adam gets the first hit when it comes to that character power? I don't know. Maybe. I don't think we're surprised anymore. So Honeybee looking for the opening here. Just eating so many down threes, but at least he's blocking them and not getting hurt for him. Yeah. Thank you. I got a koozie. Yeah, that's what I got too, and then I threw it. Screw the Johnsons. Good block from Honeybee. Trait, let's go. What's the mix-up? He's always got something dirty. Oh, Ooh. he tries to go for the restand. Try to go not for the get it. Yeah, that's a big drop there. Ooh, transition. I think it's like Gurr the shortest looks like transition. like a serial killer when he's like too focused. He is so focused. Right? I wish you guys could see Gurr's face. Yo, show his face right now and then go back. In no, between no. rounds. Look at his face. <laughs> he's so deterred. <laughs> Dude, he looked like a serial killer. It was like kind of like he had a shadow because he's bleeding down. He is, yeah, honestly, in, in real life, out of all the players that were the pro series this year, he is probably the nicest, kindest one. But when it's time he's for a business, giant. yeah, yeah. When, it, when it's time for business, it's time for business. He's about to like throw Honeybee through a table right now. That's how serious this is. And yeah, we need it in between every round, okay? So when that great, great health bar goes down, Get ready with the camera. If it goes down. It's going to be great. Uh, it might. It might. Nope. I mean, Honeybee used his, his clash. Oh. How do you go. chase a low pro? Oh, get ready. Get ready. Come on. Get, the, get ready. Get ready. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a little. Wait a little. That's fine. We can still <laughs> see the game. It's perfect. Check it we out just got to focus on his. He's focused, man. His he's serious yo, face, he's, man. Oh, oh super. super. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see your face. Let's see your face. Come on, man. Give me the give me the cam. Give me the give player me the cam. cam. Give, give me the cam. player cam. Give me the gear face. Oh no, you're getting him while he's happy. Oh no, he's still serious. He's serious, man. He's he's dude, bobbing even, back and forth. Dude, he's, even in between rounds, he's like too serious. He's like, yo, calm down. He loves it, man. It's it's, it's even in that situation like he was where shit. where it was. <laughs> I think that's that's the face that he has. Like he's like sitting there, like self motivating himself. He's like he was talking shit. He said you ain't shit. I heard him. I heard him. Down three, very pesky stuff. And what a read. Absolutely textbook there by Gurr. I mean, there was this one time I went to this party. I mean, the party that we had at your house for Halloween. So uh, me and Gurr were drinking and everything, and I was running to the kitchen. I was like, can we talk about that read, that interactable read? He backed off and down to him anyway. Anyway, back to the real story. I don't want to hear why. Hey, I'm getting to the best part. What's the best part? So, uh... I asked her before I went to the kitchen. I was like, hey, man, I'm about to grab a, be a beer. Like, how many do you want? He was like, I don't know. I could probably just down three. That's uh, <laughs> that, that's That sounds like a Gur answer, if anyone who actually knows him. That's uh, really what he says. He actually does say he would down three. And then I left. He could, man. I've seen him do it. Oh, I left right after that. I was like, I'm not dealing with it. And neither is Honeybee right now because he's chasing after those down threes. 
I mean, this is looking pretty one-sided here. It is. Back, I mean, back dashing, getting away from the overhead options. <laughs> Do you think we're going to see a switch to Aquaman? No. I think Honeybee's going to stay with the Flash. Gur does say this is a bad matchup, but I don't know how much he can continue downplaying this character. Wow. No signal we because no signal. Gur's downplaying. Why did we lose our pop-off camera? The Flash. Look, no, because this this angle's better. <laughs> Look how it, mean he looks. This, this angle is way he better. He looks evil. Look at that. He's ready. He's like, it doesn't matter if I'm up 2-0. Oh, <gasps> can't let off. You him. can't let off. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. Lord, help me. I'm going to kill him. I feel like Gurr's been getting a lot better with, with mixing it up in that tree. Or yeah. mixing it up in that character power. Just kind of, you know, not going to the same pattern over and over again. But I feel like he's just counter-adapting to how people are, are adjusting for it. Probably. That's actually a good way to look at it because you never know what patterns Gur is like actually doing. Well, I mean, if you if you and if you do follow one certain pattern, yeah, then he'll just adapt to a new one. Well, if you look at the pro series, that first round match between Honeybee and Gur, Honeybee's block rate versus Gur's character power is was phenomenal. It was like ninety five percent. I mean, it's not looking phenomenal right now. It's, it's, not, it's not. Not sure what's going on right now because he's getting hit every single time now. Maybe Gur actually adapted to that from the last time they played. Maybe Honeybee wants... He's been playing too much Smash, man. Too much Smash, on the go. Forgot how to block in a fighting game. Dude, I forget too. You don't have to block in that game. Just oh. shield up, bro. Just shield up and, and roll. That's the whole Just game, right? Shield up, roll, throw, instant air stuff. Uh, they're called fairs? Uh, no, they're called nares. Nares, right. there you go. That's for your, like, that's for your legs, right? Yeah. Like get the hair off yeah, your legs? Yeah, neutral wow. air. That's wow. what it, that's, yep. That's where it started. That's what the thing's called, right? Nair. Honey be forced to clash! This isn't looking good. Gur's looking for a mop right now. He is. Can you guys help him find it? I think Honeybee might. I think Honeybee knows where he put it. Where knows where he put the mop? Honeybee, show him where's the mop. Why'd where's you the hide the mop? Why'd <laughs> you hide the mop? <laughs> Jumping looking forward. At, looking at a sweep right now. Oh, hold, on, three. hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold your horses. He dropped hold your horses. And what do we do when we drop stuff? We just down three it. We lose. That's what we do. Ooh, oh, the delay. Wake, wake up. up. Honeybee. Uh-oh, oh, forcing him. No, he can't make this comeback. It's he it. can do this. No, he's not. Are you kidding? You know what this is? About There's to a video on YouTube with like 5 million views that shows him making this comeback. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, yep, I'll shut up right there. It's like... It could have happened. How long did that take you to amp them up? You were like, the millions and millions of ha That video has like <laughs> more than 5 million views. What was it, Injustice Grand Finals? No, it was... Oh, his comeback. That's his right, comeback against God. Raptor. The Flash God comeback. That's, where he, that. that's when he was that's just like... That's when he ascended to Flash Godhood. No, that, that happened in Injustice 1. Yeah, that's true. But it happened late into Injustice 1. That's true. Honeybee wasn't around for the first year. He made him and his brother made their tournament debut at ECT when they took a bus from Toronto to New Jersey just to compete for like what did the winner of that tournament get? Like, like five bucks. I'm just saying. <laughs> it was like five bucks and a firm handshake. No, no, no. It was definitely like I want to say at least well, it was eighty no, players. No pop bonuses or anything. No, no, there wasn't a pop bonus, but there there were players, but it's not. It's not at the level that it is today. And no, I feel like a lot not. of people forget where we came from. And a lot of people take for granted what we have. You know, back then we used to do it for, for nothing but pride. For nothing but to just merely say, I still do I'm it the for best. pride. Yeah, you play Third Strike. Shut up. Uh, no, I'm saying <laughs> you play, no, know, you play a game that there, there's no, you know. It, it's, there's, um, there's further enjoyment when you play something to actually enjoy it. Instead of looking for... Some sort of monetary or like yeah, physical yeah. And property. I, like when you're playing with a passion for something, it changes the game for you. Sure. Yeah, no, it you definitely see it does. In a different light. It definitely does. And I feel like, you know, you see the greats, and I Green feel like w with money or no money on the line, they're still going to be there. They're still going to be competing just because they, they like the game. They, they, they love enjoy it. it. Yeah. You know, it, the only Lighters thing that might change is. The day-to-day -day routine. Yeah, Maybe definitely. they're not going to be playing, you know, 24 hours a day because they don't need to because Begin. no one else is really playing the game. Yeah, no one else. Well, they're they're playing the game, but they're not playing it at to the extent that people are playing for it now because there's so much money on the line. But 
the, the base of it, the foundation of it all really just comes to pure passion. Like, if you love this game, if you love the, the, the sport of, of fighting game competition, you can make it fun. Yeah, you can. I mean, I'm sure there's people still playing MVCI. Like, it might be a smaller community, but yeah. those people that are still playing it are the dedicated ones. No, yeah, it definitely... Just like, uh, remember how they had the uh, resurgence of uh, MK9? Yes. Like, people were still playing it. What was it? Uh, Curbelo when he won a uh, combo breaker. Yes. Uh, Beating Sonic Fox. He did. He. I mean, but was he really still playing MK9? I feel like he was just an absolute monster at that game. He was, but his combos and uh, cancels were looking kind of crispy. Crispy right there, combo breaker. Ooh, hold on. In case you guys Wait didn't get enough of Sunio. Who is, I know this guy. I think this guy wins MKX tournaments. Beautiful down two, great way to punish. And I feel like that's an all-in-one punish for Black Manta. Whether he meter burns that teleport or just leaves it honest, down two is going to be the universal way to punish both options from every character. Yeah. And right now, uh, Sunio looking to get another payout. Hey, man, he, he's trying to get that money. He's like, I'm trying to be the NRS god this weekend. Who's, who's wow. the Sonic Fox? Yeah, who's Sonic Fox? He didn't, he didn't even enter. He didn't even he, want He didn't this. want the smoke. He didn't. He didn't want the smoke, this green smoke. Hold on, Jackal trying to get something going here. Oh, gets, gets chipped out. Fidget spinner? Yeah. Did those come back? I guess. There's right. injustice fidget spinners, so. though. There are. There was one in my wife's pocket somewhere. Meter burn forward three. Does he make the connection in time? Wow, and frozen. The overheads, tricky stuff. Unlike so many other fighting games, a lot of these air projectiles do hit his overheads. Let's go, fidget spinner all day. Electric. Down wow, two. down two, babies. Universal, man. It works. It works no matter what character you're playing. Fidget spinner. Keep him in the corner. Oh, multi-hitting. And that, that's one of the best traits or attributes to Black Adam is the fact that he... I'm sorry. Black, the Manta. Black Manta. I caught myself. I did. He has so many multiple hitting first. mids that come out so quickly with, with so little time in between. I like how he has, like, Takeda stance, kind of. I like how he has that boxing glove, but it did miss. And Sunio, pretty much in control here. Does take the first game. Jackal, Sorry, trying guys. to make a comeback. We were commentating in mute yes. for a little moment. We were. All right, uh, you guys should have turned on your sap on your TV. Are we going Spanish? Yeah. Ooh, let's see if I can do it. Lo puedes hacer. En español. Okay, solo este momento aquí. Sunio, lo está buscando. Se quiere quedar aquí atrás. Ese Sunio no sirve para nada. I don't know how to say that in Spanish. How do you say bear trap in Spanish? Este, casa el diablo. <laughs> La trampa de, de... How do you say bear? Oso? No. La trampa de oso. Oso, oso. Oso, yeah, it's definitely oso. Never mind, I rage quit. Not doing it in Spanish. Yep. So Sunio, going with the electric arrows, they only give you two, but they have, they have great combo ability. A lot of... Uh, hits them that just kind of leaves you in the air, susceptible to more combos. Yep. Wow. Ooh, that was trying good to call back out. Good, good call out. And great air escape there by Sunio wow. somehow. It's eruption. Arrow to the knee right before that uppercut he's just jumping active. over active. Okay, let's just jump over the arrows. Why not? Oh, we're going to get a trade. No, you eat that fire. You don't want to block when you have that little health remaining. Dime los Dominican Ace, que lo que? Sorry, it's there you like go. I it's got okay. You had a good Dominican. That's fine. Hey, hey, hey. All my Hispanic Dios friends are Dominican. I brought a book to hang you from. Electric arrow goes for the slide, does connect. And again, those electric arrows, all they are, combo ability here. Great here we go. Counter. Meter burn it. Let's go. Flip out and just, wow, slices the neck. That's violent. This is he should be in Mortal Kombat. He should. Black Manta does kill. He doesn't care. Why don't you just give up? Survival's kind of my thing. <laughs> Apparently, Error Jade uh, doesn't like us. He wants us to go back to uh, our Spanish countries. Wow, it's getting pretty <laughs> racist. <laughs> yep. Black does he want to build a wall too? Green arrow. 
Uh, probably. He wants to build a wall around our commentary. Wow. So, Sunio up. 2-0. Jackal. Looking like he's a little lost here. I don't know, man. I'd be lost, too. It's like, this guy just won Mortal Kombat. Where does his greed end? It doesn't stop. I mean, he should have just been out of the tournament. He should have just put himself out of the tournament. Yeah, as soon as he won Mortal Kombat, he's like, guys, I was only here to win one. There you go. I'll let you guys have the rest. You guys can keep playing. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Overhead electric arrows. Great block there by Jackal. He's just trying to make his way little by little. And really, the, the, the trick or the, the main thing you need to look at when you're, you're trying to approach Green Arrow, it, it's all in that reload time. You can see the progress of his arrows down there but he has to leave himself open in order to reload th that quiver. So, you know, without those special arrows, his zoning really is non-existent. Yep. And right now, Sunio's looking looking for a mop himself. Have you seen a mop? He's been mopping all day. He's looking, man. He's looking. He's been waiting to mop more. And this is looking really decisive. And again, you can you can see the, the, the Kyle. Oh, hold on, Jackal making his way in, makes the connection. How's he gonna end the combo? He oh, drops, no, he drops the last it. harpoon. It's American reset, but gets interrupted. Oh, oh, red. Wow, good whiff punish. Great presence of mind there, spacing, understanding where the uh, corner is at all times. And it's kind of rough because most of his stuff knocks away. So in this situation, he definitely doesn't want to be away this zoning and the interruption. Let's go. Can we talk about that conversion? The down two right into the back three. Not the it's easiest thing to yep. do. Okay, maybe maybe he can do this. He can do this, man. He's trying to make me believe. He's got him in the corner, so when Green Arrow does lose real estate, this is where it happens. Beautiful reactions here by Jackal. I can't do this. Don't do it. You can do it. Don't, oh, don't he went for the whip punish, but a little missed time there. You can do it, but you don't have to. Oh, no, the meter burn. And, uh -oh. He was looking for the air escape there. Yep. Great presence of mind by Jackal to not go for it. Instead, baited him to give up his combo. And that's it. It's over. Frozen in place. I thought Jackal was going to do it. He was he, showing he the was, signs. He, he, was. he was showing it. Maybe it was uh, too late of an adaption, but he was definitely showing it. And they ju did they just bring a plate of Chick-fil-A? Lots of Chick-fil-A, but I'm okay. Chick-fil-A, don't eat while commentating. It'll just slow you down. So just keep going. But, but it's Please get that away from me. Please push it away. <laughs> All right, so coming up on stream next, we have, um, I believe we have Biohazard coming. If you guys do want to follow the bracket along, I don't know if it's being updated on Smash.gg. It probably isn't. Um, but you guys I, no, can kind of... on paper. We can probably we figure out who's going where. Can we look at the bracket? Where is it? We're going to look at the bracket We're for gonna you live. We're going to rig the bracket live. Not. We're not rigging we anything. We Stop. All right. All right. So we have Gurr sitting in winner's finals. And yes. Biohazard and Sunio will have to play on the other side. Oh, speaking of which, they're sitting down already. Yes. So up next on stream, Biohazard versus Sunio now. Now, this is interesting because Biohazard does have experience against this character. Illusions. Uh, being a great Green Arrow in that first season of uh, the Injustice yes, 2 Pro Series. But in the first season, Biohazard would go to Deadshot. Now, I feel like Biohazard since then has kind of picked he's up... He's evolved. De well, he's picked up Deadshot 2.0 in, in Starfire. So I feel like out the gate, that's probably going to be Biohazard's choice. Where I'm not sure is where Sunio is going to land. You that's know, true. We've seen him using the Green Arrow, but we've also seen our, our Sunio have a amazing cyborg we also saw his amazing katana Mortal Kombat. lots of katana yeah maybe he's gonna pick mournful katana and try to play her in injustice 2. no wrong game i think you just leaked injustice 3. there you go injustice 2 secret character you gotta hit the certain code in the character select screen no but you can see a lot of you know the shades of of or i guess the other way Green shades Man. of mournful katana in in a character like cyborg Black Man. Yeah, that's Fighters true. Or, I mean, I guess Cyborg is a, le is a returning character. He was an Injustice he was. 1. He was an Injustice 1. He was not picked very often. <laughs> he but was picked at the first top 8 ECT begin. Oh yeah. by Relax State. Yep. Mr. Uh, Instant Air Fireball. Instant Air Fireballs on a stick, not on a hitbox. So, very impressive. Yeah, I, that's I true. miss Relax State. 
Yep, me too. Oh, going to the side using... Okay, here we go now. Biohazard going with... I forgot he had Black Manta. He did have Black Manta in his arsenal. He does have Black Manta. And I, I want to see I want to see if he can make this matchup work to kind of show, like, a little bit of, you know... A, his a opponent few, how to do it. I mean, just show a, a few tools that Jackal might have been overlooking or, or just wasn't aware of. Oh, and he actually tried to bait that wake up, but it uh, looks like the jump was a little bit too shallow. Well, you know, a, a lot of a lot of people like to neutral jump on, on your opponent's wake up to avoid certain wake ups, but you know, Green Arrow has a Savage Blast, he's got the Fidget Spinner, and he's got the Slide, so I don't really see how neutral jump is the right option to go there. Yeah, I think the best option would be just to either you know jump you can, away or a, a lot of players do like uh, utilizing meter burn forward threes or back threes depending on their character. Yeah, but he wouldn't be able to do it at that point. No, Fidget Spinner definitely goes through there, but Fidget Spinner is not safe on block. That is true. Oh, no way. He did not have his buttons right. There we go. Nice. Fraud round. I, I think Biohaz is letting it rock. And we're all tied up here. Red bar to was red it bar. Was Biohazard that was changing his buttons or I, was it Sunia? I actually did not I think see. it was Biohazard. I, I was looking away when it happened. Down two. No back three, but we are going to get a little conversion here. Uh, still drops it and iced out. Let's Ice, go. Iced out from the overhead here, giving Sunio enough time to load up those arrows, load up those electric arrows, and look at the combo ability here. Down two, oh, stuck the wake up. Great trade, great conversion into the corner. Wow, super smart. But can't get away. Right now, it might be lights out. No. Is the lights out? So close to a punish. Oh no, not like this. Trying to chip him out here. Big oh. boxing glove, that was huge if it did oh hit. Oh my god! So close. Oh my god, he actually did it. In that situation. That was a crazy comeback. Very little he could have done. Fidget Spinner might have made contact, but I think Biohazard made sure it came out fast enough. I don't know, he was getting hit a lot with the uh, air grapple done, so. He was. Harpoon for days here. And I love those those, those back to back. Wait, Raid is actually in this. He is in this. We don't have to pretend it's Black Manta. Savage Blast gets him out of there. And what a teleport uppercut and Sunil. No punish. I, I feel like he was looking for that. And, and, and that's what's so technical about this game is you have to know your opponent's combo so well that you see where you can air escape so you can land and punish your opponent for comboing you. That's true, but right now he's getting hit with the full screen tackles. And Sunio knew blocking there was not going to be an option. Wanted to get out of there, and worst case scenario, built a little bit of meter. I wouldn't quit your day job. A fool like you can't stop me. One bar for Biohazard. Going to do 15% to Sunio. Good Savage Blast, but gets tackled again. He's almost getting a punish on that. I'm not sure what he's actually going for there. Not sure if he's doing a little too, uh, a little too late, but it looked like it possibly could be er early in that yeah, case. Yeah, yeah, it could be a little early. I don't know. He might know something that we don't. Go for the Good teleport. block. Good down two. Let's go. Loading up those arrows. Going to keep him in the air. No, we're not going to cancel into him. Instead, we're going to hold on to nice him. Nice block. Good savage blast. Oh my god. Sunio playing super smart right now. Great punish there by Sunio. Has Biohazard in the corner and great float right there. Wow. Avoids the Savage Blast, avoids the active frames, and is still in this. Good block and another Patience. one. He knew. Like, he's like, no, I'm not going to hit anything. I'm not really sure why Sunio opted to go to, to, to not committing to the rest of that combo. Instead, just kind of down shoot and let him drop, possibly looking for an air escape. He's got to play it cool, man. He's got a life lead. Oh! oh the whiff punish! No! Back three. <laughs> Gur's getting hyped right now. It's going to be close here. Any man's game. Go oh, to the Oh my god, the savage blast. He knew that was the perfect move. To just get, uh, to get away. Build some space between you and your opponent just and just to get, get away. away. Just, for, just for that ending, that was perfect. He's shooting as he's jumping away. That takes skill. Jump Good threes blocking. to jump threes. Wow. I mean, if you space out that Savage Blast perfectly enough, you can go for the Harpoon, and that's why Biohazard's going for a lot of them in the neutral. Just and trying to get him to hang himself. Is this a perfect? 
Very close to one, yes. Oh, oh there it is. No more perfect. It. it was so close. Sunio just wouldn't let him have it. Teleport and Biohazard, to Biohazard. off to a tremendous lead. That was here. great. He's off to an amazing start. Especially after losing the last game. You know, when you lose, the next round is kind of a, a struggle. It is. It's tough. Drops the Ice Arrow there. Uh, big waste wow. of resources, especially because you got to put yourself at so much risk to, to load up that Quiver, to load up those arrows. Sitting on full meter right now. Let's see what he does with it. Again, universal. Absolutely perfect. Great way to deal with that teleport, whether they meter burn it or not. Just down to it. Don't even leave it to chance. Don't try to get a full grounded combo. Just just, just down to it. <laughs> just down to it. Just, just down to it. Now hold on, Sunio making this comeback. I don't know, man. Sunio's, uh, it's been very weird with these guys. So they're trying to get us hyped for some some crazy sets. Oh, tried to go for great. the fake overhead. But Biohazard keeping the composure until he was eventually opened up. You got to watch out here, Sunio. You're playing with fire. Bio Biohazard has super ready to go. And you are in kill territory. Yep, and it's getting even closer with those interactables. Uh-oh. Just walking him down to the corner. Walking him down, waiting. Hold on, the arrows. Giving him time up. to load up. Oh, no. Wow, goes for a bounce cancel and then a raw 4-3. Gonna chip him out. No! no. Jump it back! Make it whiff! Oh, my God! Oh! Pew, Everybody pew. just reeled back at that moment when he got hit. Wait. Harpoon. <laughs> Sonic Fox popping off at Honeybee. For no reason. I don't know why they're... Fire arrows for days. Blocking the overhead. Biohazard making his way in. Just kind of inching Sunio into the corner. Uh, Biohazard. Biohazard 2-1. Fire arrow. And a teleport does get whiffed out. However, Biohazard decides to hold on to his meter. Yep. No meter burns on this side yet. Oh, just as soon as I said that, dash into meter burn to dash in, but nothing. Good block. Didn't follow up because he's been getting punished with down two every single time on that. He has been. Look for the stabs anywhere here. Elbow drop. No chip out. Wow, he actually push blocked. I don't He's know why. He's down to nothing. He wants it. He wants it so bad. I don't know why he push blocked there. I don't. I don't agree with that. You know, push blocks are a little harder to do accidentally in this game. So I feel like you almost have to purposely do them because you have to hold forward uh, right after blocking something. Yep. Wow, very good for the savage blast. And, and that's the wake up he was trying to avoid. Ah. The slide. Didn't realize how long Green Arrow is susceptible to a neutral jump. And then that down one <laughs> stab right to the gut. Biohazard trying to stay in this, trying to keep it even here. Yeah, trying to keep it even. He's trying to close this out. Oh, that was a huge dropped opportunity. So much resource utilized right there in that drop. Oh, he actually jumped in. Okay. Look at the laser here. Slide plus. Sunio's wow. getting aggressive. He's getting super aggressive. Oh my god, but Biohazard. Nice block. And what? the challenge. What a block there by Sunio. Recognizing the bounce cancel. Standing wow. up. And Sunio ties it up two to two. Pop. I thought Sunio was done. You I really it was did. over? You thought he was only good at MKX? No, man. I think Biohazard's been trying to get revenge for MKX. That's true. That's true. Savage Blast staying away. Just firing back here, interactable, getting chucked for his troubles. And a great escape, but right behind it, Biohazard. Wow. Not great quite conversion. a punish, but at least the ability to, 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 to throw those active buttons right in his face to keep that momentum in his favor. Oh, and the delay meter burn. I love it when you meter burn sometimes like that. Just at the last possible second just to throw off your opponent for a punish. Yeah, really, it's just kind of like that little pseudo mix up you know are they are they waiting for you to whiff are they waiting for you to, uh, to, to meter, meter burn, burn and and just sometimes they, they let unpunish they let punishable things go unpunished it's, it's quite a scramble yeah 
One of the smarter things to do might be to do like a meter burn back three or meter burn forward three on my last one. If there is a delay. Oh, hold on. No, drops it. Yeah, he just wasn't quite close enough. Maybe he was used to, to MKX where you get a nice run button, yep. but not, not in this game. <laughs> That'd be sick. Wait, wouldn't he get a meter burn roll? Yeah, if he tried to, yeah. But like, he, he wanted to get close enough for the jump into to, to hit close enough for the back three to connect right after jump into. Yep. And it's a very precise timed follow up to, to an ice arrow in the air. Sometimes that's really hard, especially in a final game, final round situation like we got right now. Hey man, hey, wow, that whiff punish. And if you're looking at it from Suneo's perspective, I mean, this guy's got to be tired. He's been running that grand finals gauntlet in MKX. There's no yeah, easy man. task. Oh, faking him out instead of going really with hard. the overhead. Played really good matches in that game, and he right now he's giving us great matches in this. Down one, stays respectful, doesn't swing out of turn. Nice block. Looking Good load right there. Yeah, he's looking for the harpoon. Oh, Connects there we go. it. Back three. Now this time he didn't leave it to chance. You're yeah. About to get burned. I don't know Promise. if I would have done that. I think I would have uh, done back three, back three, just to get the guarantee damage and not give him the clash. I feel like maybe he just wants to get the clash out of the way. Oh, oh now he had a clash himself. A fool like you can't stop me. Now, Bio Betty the fool who can't stop me. Biohazard did have two. Great call there by Sunio. Betting two, not betting that third one for the extra 5%. Nope. Wow, Savage, Savage Blast again. Yeah, just, That's been working really away. good just to counter his wake up. I, it, it's a great tool to just throw out there. And the neutral went for the forward three. I, th I think that was an input error. I'm he not didn't sure, get the meter man. burn. Could have, could have got a meter burn there. Slapping on that hit of armor. Oh, my God. No conversion so by close. Biohazard. Plus. I, I, oh, my God. He dropped it. And I feel like Sunio is teasing that interactable. He is. He definitely yeah. is. He's waiting. Oh, oh, no. Down arrow. oh, no. Why wow. down arrow in that situation? Why down arrow? I, I thought he was going to do jump three. Not sure. We got down arrows and just left himself open. Open I for I don't agree with that. Doesn't matter if you agree with it or not. It happened, I know, but I still don't agree with it. Nice. So he was not teasing the interactable. The interactable actually broke, according to... Uh, to no, I don't trust you. Broken yeah, I'm interactables. I'm sure, girl. You keep girl. telling yourself that. So hold on, we're trying to figure out who's going up next. I don't know if Biohazard needs a break or not, but in winner's finals, it is Biohazard versus Gur. I think Biohazard needs to throw his stick at Gur. Why not? There, he, he almost did it. He almost did it. We missed it on the pop-off cam, but we'll get it next time. We need a, we need a separate pop-off cam. Show me the bracket. Show me that crumpled paper bracket. <laughs> Show me the Carfax! Wow. All right, so this is what we're doing, guys. Is this the right game? Yeah. I think so. So he was, uh. No, this is Mortal Kombat. This is Mortal Kombat. <laughs> like, I look. I actually want to see who beat Honeybee and Biohazard. In losers? In the losers bracket. Biohazard. Oh, they had to face each other. Wow, and Honeybee won. And Honeybee won, and then. He lost to. No, no, he lost to. Station. Yes, Honeybee lost to Station afterwards. No, Honeybee beat Station. Did he? So Honeybee got fourth. I don't know yeah. what. Look, this is a paper bracket, no. so like I'm trying to read some I can tell you. insane handwriting. Go ahead. Uh, so Mingled beat Honeybee, and Mingle got second. No, oh, then he okay. So Honeybee, Honeybee got, got fourth. fourth. Honeybee got fourth. So the Tanya player you saw Katana playing Prime on stream got fifth, and so did Station. And Biohazard, wow, Biohazard didn't even get eighth. Did he get eighth? I no, think he did. I think no. King Tizza and Ragnarok got eighth place. Oh, because. Mingle. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mingle right. gesture, yeah. So, yeah, this is, this is, you want to throw it back, man. Like, this is what we used to deal with. And I guess are still dealing with. <laughs> People's handwriting app. That's, dude, that's how it was done back in the day. Yep. Pools were made day of. Bracketology was not a thing. And well, I guess I guess studying bracketology. Yeah, is not no, a thing. you had to know how to run it because uh, some websites would just print out the lines. They wouldn't put like 
player A goes to loser D or something, you know? Sure. So they didn't have that on the old brackets, so you had to know where to place them. You had to pre-plan and put the A, B, D, C on there. And you had to mix it up because you didn't want double jeopardies to happen. Good old days. Terrible. Good old days. So coming up on stream next, we have everybody's favorite your little favorite. guy. <laughs> He's your favorite He's now. my favorite little guy. I don't know. He, he kind of impressed me. He impressed a lot of people. Yeah. Euphoring all the way he, here, all the way from Columbia. To play Mortal Kombat and Injustice, I He guess. came. I mean, these are the two games he's playing. And, you know, his father, a big supporter of, you know, just the FGC and a big supporter of, you know, of, of what makes his son happy. And, you know, there, there aren't enough parents out there that, that, that support do their this. kids like no. that. Like their hobby, anyways. Exactly. I guess it's like it's if his father was a gambler, this specific place would be great. <laughs> this is like, all right, kid, go play your games. Daddy's going to no. win a new car. I know, and that's the thing, too. I mean, obviously, I mean, maybe Nick's okay for, for being left alone. He is, I guess, 14, and yeah. nothing's going to happen to him. But, you know. We'll throw hands for him. But right now, his father is, is watching the stream so intently. He's watching person. all his. He's actually holding his hand. Yeah. Like, it looks like a Spanish yeah. soap opera right yeah. now. Yeah. Ay, Dios mío, por qué mi hijo. He's watching. He's watching <laughs> his son play, so it's not, again, He's not just one of those parents that comes and, you know, whatever. My yeah, son, it's like, whatever, kid, play. I'm going to go uh, talk to this little lady over here. Yeah, no, his dad is here watching every single match and, and seeing him how up. his son does, yes. Yeah, like, he'll talk to him, like, afterwards. Like, I think he, uh... Keep him, in, maybe, keep him composed, uh, keep him in the game. Well, maybe after a while he starts understanding the concept of the game himself. I mean, watching is, is different from doing, man. Yeah. Your deals, what exactly? Well, he definitely knows how to watch with that one hand on his head, like looking like I pray to God, my son. That working out for you? Dude, stop talking through the intros. Sorry. Aren't we tired of this? And we see this all the time with Silver Eye. Sure. Yeah, where is Silver Eye? No Silver Eye today. I'm I'm really upset about that. Yeah, he's gonna make me Silver cry. Wow. I, I think he hates you now. Somewhere oh, out there, he he hates he hated like, that. He's like, you he, know what? He got so tight about the fact that everyone just kept dropping silver eye jokes. <laughs> silver die, silver cry, silver lie. It, it, it did not stop, man. It just kept going for like three days straight. It was great. <laughs> I think I saw memes of that. I'm not gonna lie, I think I might might have seen some memes. So in honor of Silver Eye, you pouring here, rocking Hellboy, Jesus. and don't air escape there in that situation. You better practice against those combos. All right, he's looking. He's trying to get himself into some top threes. He's trying, man. He's working on it. Oh, oh he's challenging. I, I think that was an instinctive. I'm going to try to punish. Great down one wow. into the background bounce. Oh, oh, keeps dropping it, but doesn't matter. Still getting great damage. Almost got that whiff punish. That's oh, the second time I've it. seen it drop there. Not sure if he's just meter burning it a little too late, but hold on, going right through there. But flash. <laughs> he goes right into the tunnel. Hey, he sucks him right into that tunnel. Flash is fast, Pause. man. <laughs> <laughs> and full screen elbow. Oh, he's going to get Flash right. time, let's go. He's going for a ride. He's going for a ride. Wow, in the crop. Clip that. That, that, was, that. that has to be a Hellboy specific thing, or flip, flip that. he's the luckiest Fox player I've ever seen. To get around that wake up is is one of the hardest things in this game. Just clip it. Oh, this is a tough That turned spot. around really fast. Station was down by so much health and it just melted. That was smooth. And, and he's, boring. he didn't, he held he on didn't to it. He didn't have enough. No, he did. He just decided to hold on to it. Bad call. Bad call by Euphoria. He just did not think Station would commit. And he, in that situation, I feel like... He fully committed. Like, that was just, like, straight-up marriage. He was more like, let's talk on the phone first. I mean, look, in that situation, you're, you, as the defender, you have to overcommit. He, you just got to get some breathing room, and that's fine. Right and now, he's getting zero breathing room. He's getting nothing here. Station just going ham here, putting hands all over you for oh, him. But hold he's, on. He's he getting the jump in. He's getting hand put on him. Just one big hand. Just one big hand. One big hand that keeps changing sides. Look at this. Oh, the What side up. was that? What this was is that? an MK. You don't get a block button. You got to guess, left or right. Where did he block? I didn't block. I got hit. Flash player's block? <laughs> That's a joke. 
That's a good one. Lower Speaking three. of flash players. There we go. The one that doesn't block the most. Chucking that unblockable wow. there. You uh, foring. Really you Great go. presence of mind. Knows exactly where he is at all times. Hold this box. Nope. Not oh. sucking me this time. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that one. All right. Switching him over to the other side. Going to extend the combo with those back threes. And hold on. He's trying to Look get as much damage. damage as possible. He got the mix up. Ground pound. He's feeling himself. Wow. He, yeah, he's definitely Evidence. feeling himself. He's staircasing him. It's kind of like Smash likes. Brothers out there, guys. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Two bars. Gets him 25% back and a little bit of breathing room. And that's all the Flash needs. The whiff what? punish. Wow. Honeybee looked impressed at that one. He's like, I learned a new combo, guys. There we go. Honeybee taking notes here on the floor. Taking notes, to see right, bro? What a real Flash player plays like. He's taking notes on his uh, very, very soft Microsoft pad right now. Checking him there with a down one. Getting a little aggressive. Well, actually, you should take notes from him in uh, Mortal Kombat. There you Whoop. go. Should. A down one, two. Going to convert that low into damage. But I feel like there was definitely a drop there. Maybe oh, a little bit of a nerve. Oh, still got a whip punish. Did you see, you see those letters at the top on the right side? It said punish. Punish. Begin. Punish. Ponash. Blocking was not an option there. Whoa. He does it. He want, he want, he's trying to force him. Trying to force him in, in, into taking that hit because when the Flash has the Speed Force activated, he cannot block. He may be the fastest man in the universe, but for some reason, he just can't block. I can't block right now because I'm getting whip punished just like Station is. Those sign at him. Now you got to watch out for that low. Great block Great by block. Station. He knew. He Great knew. punish. He's like, you know what? You're going low this time. I know you. You know, and that's the thing, though. It's such a risky thing to try to block, to try to block the low, because the low doesn't lead into that much damage, but the overhead does. The overhead leads into a full combo. Definitely. And let's see. Oh, the jump in. Can't block, bro. Oh, the reset. Okay, that was dirty. Let's see. It won't kill, but maybe this next mix-up will. No, not enough. Wow, and the wake-up. Mix-ups. Nice block. Oh. Wow, no, he finally cracked and still airborne and catches it. Air escape, man. That's a very dangerous thing to do against Hellboy when that back three is coming. Definitely. The range, the horizontal range on that back three is crazy. And finally challenges him air to air. Activates flash time. Oh, no, that's it. You're out. You're fired, bro. Get out of here. Whoa, drops the combo. Whoa, the drop and the whiff punish. Let's go. Take him to the corner. Nope, whiffs. And that was a ghetto reset right there. A ghetto reset? Yeah. Not little. an American reset. No. That way, that one you got to go to the hood for. Okay. You gotta like it's ask. like, oh, man, you I dropped my combo. Where Wait. Where I can get that. Yo, where can I get that, uh, that ghetto reset? Definitely at the bodega. Oh, what side did that hit on you for? Someone stop this boy. Get a uh, ham and cheese while you're there, too. Ham cheese they put on the press. Nice and melty. I'm going to take your word for it. I'm going to take your word for it, Chad Borden. Thanks. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> All right. All right, Both let's players go back looking for that hit. Match. You if guys don't know, watch Chad Warden on YouTube. Best you'll troll. Learn. Best troll that ever existed. You'll, you'll find out the origins of the PS3. And how it was the greatest console ever created. Yep. How the Wii had to copy how to get good games. Jump in three. So much damage here from the Flash. The conversion. Very good block. Oh, oh, Flash time and delivered himself right to the Flash. He said, here you go, Flash. Hit me for a full combo. <laughs> here you go, Flash. Take me to the, take me to jail. I've been bad. I've been a bad boy. Double hits. Gets right back right to that meter burn three. Wow. EX just keeps punching him. Hellboy's a villain in this. He's mean. He's not a villain. He's just red. He's very angry all the time with his big meanie hand. Wow, and kind of a punish, I guess, on that wake up. Maybe he wasn't ready for it. Possibly not ready for it. Possibly pressing buttons. Possibly trying to get out of that bad situation. Possibly, possibly. Possibly, possibly. Nice Jump. meter burn and closes out that round. Now, Euphoring is working with... Three bars in a trait. 
And oh. he gets down two for his troubles. Can we say that the flashes down two is the best down two in the game? It, it definitely are we, are we is. It was the to best that? in part one. It was good. You could not punish that thing for anything. No, you couldn't. Because by the time you went to punish, you got down two again. It's kind of like that in this game. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's like, I don't want Honeybee to look at me because he'd be like, bro, you talking shit? Be like, talking. Uh, I guess kind of. You're talking a lot, man. You're talking a lot right now. Euphoric was doing a great job of blocking until that low hit. Backdashing, getting out of there, getting out of dodge, trying to build some space between himself and his opponent. Oh, and no. there it is. The mix-ups. I love those staircases. Didn't think you'd be this fast. You're going down. Oh, uh, the case says Black Adams down two says hello. <laughs> uh, Th that's true. I too. don't know, man. That's a good one. But I got a lot of success with that, man. I feel like, oh no, air escaping against the Flash. Death sentence, dude. Because I remember uh, playing Rico Suave in a Black Adam mirror, and obviously he was better, but I still kept down to his shit, and he'd be like, really. Really? You gonna mash really? down two? Really, man? You gonna mash you gonna down, mash down two? two? Like he was so disappointed, I felt bad. I'm disappointed so then I, in you too. I was trying to play legit. Stop being disappointed in me, armor. Uh, I remember that first month of Injustice Two. Everyone was trying to play legit. Yeah, I was playing so legit. I picked Black Adam Day Two. Now Euphoring switching over to Red Hood. Now I believe this was uh, his main before uh, Hellboy. He, he was loving this character a lot. Then obviously Hellboy came out. Maybe yep. he only plays red characters. Right now, I was about to say, uh, Station's kind of looking like he switched into Honeybee real quick. Let's go. Are you sure? Can we check to make sure it's not Honeybee playing for Where's him? Where's Honey? I don't see Honeybee right now. He's in now. the other room playing off the stream setup. Yeah, sure he is. With the, you know, the 30 seconds of lag delay. Hey, man, he just uses flash time, and then he's faster than everybody. That's good. No problem. The Utilizing block that strength. Trait. Very good patience, but... Oh, gets thrown. That's going to be a toss there for Euphoring. Oh. Listen, you just can't play with Station. You just can't. You can't. You can't play Station. Not in his own game, at least. Euphoring looking to get something going. He's at a huge life deficit, and Station running away with the lead. That was hit actually, by hit. Actually, really good patience. He didn't fall for the throw bait. The so. shimmy? Well, the, I guess the flash shimmy. The shimmy. Running man cancel. Oh, nice. air escaping. Great. Great spot there. But still gets caught. Oh, no. He's got no resources here. Even in this situation, Flash has Looking more close meter. to lights out. Oh, my. Wake up again. Wow. And <laughs> this time dives forward. All right. That was smart. Can he, he do it, though? This is, a, this is true master territory almost. He faced through it. He faced through it. Can he make this true master come oh, back? No, He's going to be left it. to nothing. This is nothing. Not till these boots melt. He's going to be left to nothing. Does he have Station. Flash time? He might. He might. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, and he wow. gets chipped out by the disco ball. You wow, he got cheese. He got cheese. I'm sorry for all you euphoric fans out there. I know everyone was just me, you, me, everyone in this room, just really pulling well, for him. Except Gur. Gur doesn't pull for anybody. Except himself. That's all he cares Not about. Not even. Not even. He's like, why do I play this game? No, but huge shout out to you for making it here all the way from Columbia. Definitely very impressive over the the entire weekend. Made top eight in Justice and made top three in uh, MK. I did not see that coming. I mean, hey man, is this ruined my fantasy bracket? I, I don't even want to play fantasies anymore. Not even final ones. But you know, it. it I see the true makings of a top tier competitor there in Euphoring. I, and if I can that's see true, that, especially for MK11, and that'd be actually great because it's like kind of like the trending thing where the younger the guys get coming into the scene, they start doing really well. No, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Sonic Fox started out like that. I mean, like, of course, he's like on a different plane of existence, but... I mean, all it took was a few years of development, a few years yep. of, you know, dedication Dude, and, and understanding. His, I think he won his first major at an ECT, and he was like swinging his legs in the chair. I don't know about that one. Definitely was. We can ask Sonic Fox when he won his first major ever. But coming up on stream next for you guys. Oh, no. We I got was a good for one this. for you. I was waiting for we this. We got a good one for you. We got Gur. Look at that. Going They're up. shaking hands. They're not even shaking each other's hands. They're shaking somebody, somebody else's, else's hand. Somebody else's hand. It's like we need a neutral party for this handshake. I'm not shaking his hand. It's too intense. <laughs> but we got Gur going up against Biohazard. Two Bane mains. No longer Bane mains. Bane mains. Bane mains. Bane mains. 
Former hey. Bane mains. Uh, I feel like he, I, I actually do see Biohazard using Bane a lot more these days. Well, they would both use Deadshot, too. They were both using Deadshot, but Gur, I feel like, kind of abandoned the character altogether. What's actually really funny is today, somebody offered Gur a hundred dollars <laughs> he didn't do it if he would only pick bane in the tournament and Gur said no, no way bro no way no all right way speaking of which what if it comes back the to Adam's haunt him Gur actually thinks that this is a bad matchup for for the atom he thinks every matchup is bad for the atom <laughs> but anyways I, I don't know how i'm beating all these people but they're all wow and he gets the overhead right at the end gets the first bar uh, but it doesn't matter. Oh my god. Biohazard has hit. him in the corner. This is gonna hurt. Look at that damage! Level 3 Venom is on the way! No, Biohazard holding on to it. Doesn't want wow, the bad withdrawal. Let's see what the mix-up is. Good block. And the punish! Elbow drop. What's gonna be the mix-up? Now, Gary does have a lot of meter. Gets out of there. Back wow, dashes. The back doesn't dash. want anything to do with him. Yeah, he didn't want Go that away. smoke. He didn't want that smoke. Oh, he gets hit. Did he just punish that forward dash? Yeah, he doesn't either. He just punished that forward dash. Double hitting. Ate Only one armor. hit of armor. Wow, good back dash. Oh, no, whiff punish. Good block. Ooh. And the elbow drop there from Biohazard. Trying to get a little bit of revenge from his brother. Probably. I mean. Stop. It's, it's kind of tough. Away. Kind of stuff, like tough seeing your little brother stomped out right in front of you. Uh, oh, yeah, Tim is the younger one. Yeah, you're right. Biohazard probably feels real bad. <laughs> like, yeah, that's what you do. You get your big brother to beat up the kid that beat you up. There you go. That's what's happening here. Elbow drop. Does it have an overhead? Great delay wake up there by Gur. He understands that that's one of the best tools to use uh, against a, a very oaky base character like Bane. Yep. Don't make me fly off your nose. <laughs> <laughs> They're really, are they playing that game off stream? Is that MK vs. DC? Or I think it's MK vs. DC. Or Mortal Kombat Armageddon? Deadly Alliance, even worse. That is so old. Mortal Kombat, Deadly Alliance. I can't stand them. Alright, never mind. Let's, not Let's go back there. to this match. This is more hype than those. <laughs> Come on, man. You didn't like the MK3D franchise? What's wrong with you? I did. I like Conquest Mode. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Hold on. Background bounce. Going to hurt. Forward three to keep it going. Slamming him onto oh the ground. God. He's down to nothing. No. Is he going to do it? Oh, the roll. Good push block. What's going on? Wow, made him whiff. No way. No way. You keep... What? Not oh, enough. no. The armor. And the RKO. The drop. Wow. That girl face. Can we talk that about girl that girl face. face. He's like... Okay. 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 You got it. Okay. <laughs> oh, what if he says okay to him and his voice cracks? Okay. Uh, sure. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you that one. Adam, fighters approaching red and Gary's sticking out here with Adam. Not straying away. Again. I mean, that's his character now. It is. But he also thinks this is a bad matchup. Begin. <laughs> I don't know, man. That was pretty close for a bad matchup. Especially the end. The end was such great scrambles. Such yeah, great back grambles, and forth. I said the grambles, sorry. The scrambles, scrambles were actually... I'm sorry, I had a grand scrambler. That's why I said grambler. Oh, man, that's my favorite thing on the Taco Bell breakfast menu. We need to get so sponsored good. by Taco Bell for, the, for at least AM pools. The, the grande scrambler is so good. So good. If you guys the love steak, yourself... The sour cream, the cheese. You, oh, my God, so good. If you guys love yourself, do yourself a treat tomorrow. Go to Taco Bell, get the grande scrambler. Yep, get the breakfast. We should do that tomorrow. We should just leave. Let's go. I want to go right now. They don't have breakfast. Oh, you're right. Never mind. A little bit of float there. Catches them in the net there. I think they need to start doing 24-hour breakfast. They might soon. Not over 24 hours, unless it's Vegas, I guess. Even then, I think those close, too. Oh! Wow, the I read! I mean, it, it's such a great option to stop a lot of the things that Bane likes wow, to do. Wow, that was smart. That was smart. That was, that was really You're smart. coming to me. Here's some mist. Yep. Some mist Sierra's damage over time. Mist. Why not? But no, a, a lot of great things to a, a universal move to get through a lot oh, of main that stuff. Level three. Look at that damage. Look at that elbow. Elbow drop. Was that like a take on look at that knee? Look at that elbow. I guess. Multiple hits and look at Kurt just switching sides going over there. Yeah, but gets hit with that wake up and by hazard almost has super, he's looking for it. He's going to do super. He's going to do it. No, no. Gur has super. Biohazard oh, sitting sorry. back. You're right. 
He's not quite in kill territory yet, but if he gets the opening here, he will. Go into super? I don't know, man. I don't know if super's enough to kill in this situation. Possibly looking for one more straight hit. I think he might be looking for an armor. Oh! oh. And he didn't block yep, high. He, he's going to go for super. Super. Yep, he's going for super. Is he? Yeah. I'm going to go for super right at the end. He oh, no. He dropped it. He dropped it. Not like this. Not like this, Gary. Giving Bio has the opportunity. Oh, no. Debuff is active. It does withdraw so immensely after level two. Oh, my God. And Gur fist pumping on that one. And Coach Steve's face was just like, wow. He's just like, praise. Ooh. We dodged the bullet there, Jeez. boys. Praise Jeebus. There was no coming back <laughs> if that went wrong. Oh, man. Uh, you know, I felt like he, he did it way too late into that combo. Maybe. I don't know why he didn't just go right into it, especially because it would have scaled Scale? less. Yeah. Maybe he was uh, kind of feeling more of a guarantee from doing it later on in the combo. Uh, possibly, man. But I, I thought that, that super was coming out right away. The Dow 2. Get wow. off me. Don't try to throw me. He knew. Just, just buy that. Just knew. Wow. Hits from behind, too. And very smart. He knew he was going to wake up with some sort of a uh, meter burn. Well, it covers so many things. It covers the elbow, it covers the charge, and it covers the command ground. So wow, it gets thrown this time. So if you've got meter on Bane's wake up, go for the meter burn forward three. Back to back, meter burn threes. Biohazard coming out to victory there. Timing it slightly later than Gur did. Man. Oh, that's oh, going to be enough. This is it, all right. I have no idea what he said. I'm not, I'm not sure. He gave us a Princess Diana wave, though. That's true. Best piece. Elbow Goes drop. right through it. Wow, oh. hits from behind, too. Hey, man, it always did, okay? It did. In, in fact, they normalized that hitbox they from did. Injustice 1. Because it was obnoxious. It was great. It was glorious. Oh, and the punish. Let's get small. Wow. Let's get small. Wall Challenge small. accepted. Wait. Oh, it's going to hurt. He's not going to stop doing those drugs. And it hit from behind again. Let's go. Good block. Nice patience. Uh, not enough patience. Push block. Get him off you. Get a little bit of breathing room. Looking Ooh, for the trade to come back. And there it is. What's going to be the mix up? Where's oh, no, the he's overhead? Blocking. He's blocking everything. Good throw tech. The down one. Checking him when he gets on the ground. Jump back. What side was he on? I don't know. I think he was looking for an uppercut, too. Oh, my God, DLG. Oh, no. Killed. Yep, killed him. Enough damage, and it's so scary. That stomp hits from full screen. So if that Damn. foot came down, it would have went right into a super. Man. I don't know what, but... uh, Wait, why did he put that Gur one? Gur did win that one. Oh, yeah, he did. He did. Never he mind. Did. He stopped see, the super from coming out. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Forgive me. It's been a long night. Checking him there at the back one ones. And again, you, you got to wonder, if you're playing as Bane and you're going up against Gur, very few things that, that he's not aware of, that, that, that he's not aware of. That's true. You know, they, he did main the character, mained him since Injustice 1 alongside with, with Biohazard and, and GTA Max. Yeah. And I feel like at this point, Gur should actually know some. He did play Bane a little bit in this. Yeah, definitely in, in the in the first year of the Pro Series, a lot of Bane coming from Gur. Yep. You know, there's a dead shot here and there, there was, but for the most part, there's dead shot a lot actually. He would uh, he I mean, would occasionally lose <laughs> with dead shot and then lose, switch no, to Bane. lose with Bane and switch to dead shot, and then later on, he would lose with dead shot and switch to Bane for his last game. I mean, he was all over the place, all right? He had a character crisis. I think now he's just completely solidified with Adam. Oh, yeah, no. As much as Gurr loves big bodies, he says the only thing he loves more are, are very unique and abstract characters. And wins. He likes winning. And wins. I just love winning. That's why I picked Adam. Oh. And he likes the down three. He always did. With the Joker, yeah, definitely. Yep. Down one with Bane. He just loves doing down buttons. He likes doing down buttons. If it's a kick or sweep or something, perfect. All about it. Drop kick for his troubles, 15%. He does. Oh, the both players do They're utilize all their, all their meter. And it's almost even. Still taking damage over time. It's stacking up. I would have got hit so hard by that. I thought that was going to cross up. Uh oh. Debuff and still swinging. Back dashing. Armor's up to get that armor. I'm uh, sorry. Venom's up yeah, to get that armor. Yeah, boy. 
That's it. It's over. Flavor, Flav! I, I don't know why you're hitting me with a flavor, Flav. Because. But can you please stop? But he just started. He was, he was all like, yeah, boy, and he grabbed him. Did he say that? I mean. I, I feel like you said that. I mean. I, I didn't hear Bane saying anything like I that. I think he should have said. Okay, he said, yes, boy. <laughs> Yes, muchacho. Die. Do you remember when he used to fight? We used to clash against the Joker, and he's like, "Die, payaso." Yeah, that was, was my terrible. Favorite. That was my favorite clash quote of Injustice One. My favorite Is Injustice it Bane no. or Bane? No. Die, payaso. All right, they're letting the intros run. Okay. That's some. That's some good respect right there. But anyways, my favorite clash quote in Justice One. Smile! I am smiling. Yeah! <laughs> Batman's like very unenthusiastic clash charge. <laughs> this is Look, hilarious. It's like I don't want to be here. Well, speaking of clash charge, Biohazard's putting the hit on Gur right now, bud. I love the recognition there by Gur, seeing the charge coming and knowing the perfect option. Just dash back, go with him. Follow that charge and make sure you punish it on the recovery. Wow, and there was nothing from there. That was actually kind of a uh, kind of ballsy right there. A biohazard. Bit. Man, grab again. Nope, goes for the low into nothing, and Gur kind of drops it, but gets the overhead at the end. And look at that, that conversion. conversion though. Jump in three. Gotta watch out. Got the armor and oh, the low into uppercut. Gur used to love doing that. Down one Loved into it. uppercut. Loved. Well, I mean, back in Justice One, when you it can, was great when you can meter, meter burn, burn all block. the way at the top. Oh, stop! It was so bad. Never mind. Let's go back to this game because I like the uppercut in this one. You can punish. It. You can punish it for, for. You can punish Bane for acting like a maniac. Yeah. You would last like <laughs> Dude, it used to hit back. It used to hit backwards too. That was the worst part. Well, it was like a 50-50 on his way down. Because well, when he was drop kicking, his arms are out. So you know you gotta you know, watch 50 -50. over those arms. All right, and right now, Gur is putting Biohazard in the corner. Eat oh. double damage. Oh, oh that no. barrel hurt. Wow, that punish, though. Is Gur going to build up enough for Super? Oh, so close. Smart move there by Gur. Get out of the trait. Hit him with the down three. We have Super. Both we players both, have Super on deck. They both have Super. This, this is so dangerous. They both ah! have a loaded gun right in front of their faces. Who's going to do anything? Oh, the push block. Push block. No right. longer has super. Doesn't have super, and Gur still sitting on it. Oh, God. No! Oh! Right in what front of his face. Look oh, at the, the pop, pop off. off. Pop off camera. You came in. He might be armored up. It might not do enough damage. Oh, my God. We're getting big. Killed him? Yeah. yeah! And he popped off again. He wasn't sure. He, he wasn't was, sure. He was sitting there like he was... He wasn't sure. He wasn't sure. Well, because he remembered, you know, when not only does Bane get the, the buff of armor once that Venom is active, but Bane is also taking a lot less damage. Yeah, so the whole way through. If that was a normal character where Venom was not an option or, or oh, not yeah, a factor. Oh, yeah, they would have been dead. Would have been dead. So Gurk kind of did like a preemptive pop-off. He was, he was like, what? yes! Wait. <laughs> no. And then it killed. <laughs> and then he went, whoa! It's like when your horse is like about to reach the finish line and another one starts catching up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just stop. Gur. <laughs> waiting in grand finals. Biohazard knocked into the losers finals. I, was that the first real pop off of the day then? Do you want to say that? That was definitely yeah. the first pop off. That was definitely the first pop off. We're just lucky those headphones aren't broken. Last time Gur. Oh yeah, he popped off and broke some headphones and felt really bad. Yes, at Summer Jam. Him versus Silver Eye. Uh, oh yeah. And Gur just as soon as he as soon as he won. Boom! Slam. I mean, I kind of would do that too if I beat Silver Eye. <laughs> He's good, man. No, Silver Eye definitely a great player. Clearly, uh, other great pop offs. Do you remember Smooth Viper? Smooth Viper. We, we talked about him earlier too. Stop talking about Smooth Viper, I'm dude. Sorry. He's the pop off god. Look up the smoothest of Vipers. The smoothest of Viper. Was that when he threw someone's controller? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think it shows it in that one. But he like pops off in arcades. Like slamming the cab and this screaming. This is like Street Fighter Four days when he was oh, playing Marvel Sega. Two. No, this is Marvel, Marvel Two. Marvel Two, yeah. Okay. His Marvel Two pop offs are the best. Like, it, there's a compilation for it. King of pop offs. And, it, and it's all like handy, like old hand cam, like old or, hand cam, or, or somebody's like flip phone, cell phone camera. Yeah. God. It's basically that kind of quality. That sounds terrible. 
And he's like obnoxiously like popping off on like all of his opponents. Good old Smooth Wiper. Uh, pop off God. Smooth Wiper. Like if there was a God of pop offs, I would vote him in. Um, and broken legs. And and broken yep. legs. He jumps off balconies. That's how hype he is. We know how that story ends. He gets punched in the. Uh, never mind. Yeah. But. <laughs> all right. NRS pop offs. Um, I want to say Zyfox. Zyfox. Zyfox had a great pop offs. Every time he beat somebody. When he beat Forever King, he jumped up out of his seat, said "Let's go," and like his glasses like flew to the back of his head. They didn't fly <laughs> off. He just completely went to the back of his head. Glass sword. No, Glass sword didn't have. Yeah, actually, he, he did have good pop. Like every time no, Jago Blake too. No, Jago Blake would like. Just, he had like just, those weird pop offs. He would just like quote whatever his character said in the game. What yeah. about? Hold on. What about? What about? What about meditating, Jago Blake? That was hilarious. At ECT, where he's just like rocking back and forth. He's like praying to the guys. I hope I can beat Rico. That was great. That was like one of the Rico, best. Rico was things. like, I can't believe I was sitting next to him. I was like, Yo, bro, are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> Who won that set? Rico did. Oh, that's right, because Rico, Rico like, got fourth in that tournament. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was hilarious, though. I love Jago I love Blake. Blake. I, I love Jago Blake, too. Great down one, two into the background bounce. Yep. A little unsafe for my taste, but hey, it worked. Wow. And we're going right back into it. I thought Station was a flash player, too. He was, on, uh, but... I'm not sure. I'm, I'm seeing a Starfire. I know Honeybee does play uh, a little bit of uh, of Starfire himself, but Honeybee's yeah. playing Starfire. I don't know. Honeybee's on player on player two side. Yeah, but then again, this is uh, it's not arcade, so. I mean, who doesn't play Starfire these days? That, that's, that's what true. I mean. Okay. I got a pocket Starfire. I never played her, but I'm sure I do. Yeah, all you got to do is zone. Yeah, and then do the disco ball. There you go. There you go. Disco ball. So uh, we're being told that the names are wrong. So Honeybee is playing Starfire. Honeybee is playing Starfire, so that means he's not being the Flash God right now? I think he just, if Station wins, he just gave up the title. That's true. I agree. He gives and up then the title. he would have to give up his sponsor as well. Yeah. He gets a title, so sponsor. He's gonna, no, he's going to be. And, uh, and where he lives. BF Station is now going to live in Canada. He's going to live in British Columbia. Sure. <laughs> Vancouver, baby. All right. So it's definitely uh, if Honeybee loses his sponsor, Station's going to gain it. So he'll be BFGCBC. Can we stop, please? <laughs> what? Stop. That's how you collect sponsorships, right? Just, that's how you keep collecting acronyms in your name. You keep beating players. Hold on. Meter burn back three. Uh, doesn't matter. And Disco. Yep. Wake up, Disco. It's the 70s still. It's the 70s. She here. does have the 70s hair, so it fits. You know, that's kind of when she, like, originated. Maybe 80s. There's nothing wrong with 80s hair. No, that's definitely the Farrah Fawcett right there. Nothing wrong with that. But I guess he's not going to be the Flash God. He's still going to reclaim that title. Uh, I, I'm he has sure. loss. Hey, he has to lose, okay? He has to lose. And then... I think once Honeybee loses... Oh, oh that that was so back smart. Three. Smart, so smart stuff there by Station. He's like, yeah, you're going to do it while you're in slow-mo. Check this out, bro. But now it gets pushed full screen. Running Man Stance gets canceled out for you. There you go, bro. You don't want to do that. Giving him a nice flip kick. The down wow, two. The down two. The down two of the gods. Oh, trying to fake him out there. Not continuing the string, but giving him so it's many hits. It's getting cheesed out. And forth. It's getting cheesed out. Looking more cheesier than my cheesesteak today. There we go. That down two. I'm sorry. The down one. Trying to check something here. Leaving him in a standing position. Great setup by Station. But Honeybee ready to press buttons. And Station hits him with a wake up of his own. Remember, don't blink. And Miguel's doing the Roomba right now. That's it. Roomba for everyone. Down one two. The first hit does whiff right in front of him, but the and second one connects. He's like, you know what? You don't need that. Anymore. You don't need that trait. I'm good, yeah. dog. Let's just put an end to it. So, again, great presence of mind there by Honeybee. And Station, he's trying to take the title, man. He wants it. He wants he's it. He's like, yo, pass it on. You're not a Flash player anymore. There I know you, you only play Starfire when you're serious. I mean, it's, it's 
you know, these days it's tough to main one character. When you it have is. the options of, you know... Of Starfire or, <laughs> Starfire or not. Oh, flash time. Let's go. Oh, oh no. Oh, that was a huge, huge drop. drop. And look at Honeybee delaying right there in that situation. Adapting. Understanding that he has to wait for him to just get out of there. Yep. And the overhead. Okay, that was super smart. We got super, though. Super's on deck. It's not going to be enough to kill. Yeah, but... Oh, he did it. Nope, he blocked. He blocked. Oh, oh, no way. Snatching wow. him out of there. Tossing him into the corner. And Honeybee wow. steals that second game. I didn't know he was a thief. Stole it. I thought he was an honest guy, but obviously, thief right under our nose. Stole that game. I don't even want to talk to him. I'm reporting him. Call the cops. I see that, that Starfire double-hitting string, the one that either ends with the overhead or the throw. Now, Tweety says there's some great tech. If you block that first hit and option select a back three, you'll block the overhead or make the throw with and give Starfire a full combo punish. Wow. And for that one reason alone, he thinks Starfire's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> Forward three, hitting him Starfire. with a down two. She's a bad character. I mean, like, character. this is all you got to do versus her. You get an option select. There you go. The tail whip here. Starfire's true invincible wake up. Man, her true invincible wake up is threatening. I mean, it, it's a great wake up, and it's one of those. She's just got an arsenal of so many of them. They may, they might not all be invincible, but they all have their own purpose. That's true. And that's what really makes her. I feel like what makes her a really strong character. Next time, try stretching first. I think she's just strong. Full screen options. Full screen. Meters, like so. But hey, oh, you're coming in close? Wow, how does a headbutt beat a slide? Tamaranian charge, bro. What a Tamaranian charge. How about super fast feet, man? Oh my god, it's so quick, it's so active. Even when the flash slows down time, tapping into the speed force, it's it's so hard to avoid. When you're fighting an alien, bro. And wow, he beat the It's beat not it. fully invincible. He beat it. I am I am shook. Fire. I am shooketh. You should not be. It's not a fully invincible wake up. But I'm shooketh. And neither is Tamaranian charge. Wow, and snatches him out of the air again. Snatching him, bro. Get over here. It's, a, it's some very risky stuff. You know, it is a throw. It does hit it as a high. And if it whiffs over your head, you know. can eat a full combo. Punish. I think I'm looking uh, for a mop right now. I don't know, man. Honeybee. Uh-oh. This is it. This is the opening station's looking for. Oh. Honeybee has air escape, but he's no, not going to use it. Mop. Get the janitor. And what a late tech there. This is the mop. My favorite Beautiful mop. tech. What? 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 He walked. Input error. Clip it. Clip that. I think that was an input error. I think he wanted Begin. down normal and instead just got the, the stardust tossing to where no one was home. That was Honeybee's game. That was his clean 3-0. He almost lives had, to see another day. He almost had the mop. It's too bad. He dropped the mop. It's not it. It's not it, bro. That bro. ain't it. Bro, he dropped the mop. Down one, two. Got to meter burn those kicks. Nice punish following all the way through and still wake up, Disco. Disco. I mean, hey, man, cash hey, in. Use Donna that Summers. character power. Donna Summers is That's great. my jam. That's my jam. Which one? All of them. There you go. That's the right answer. Wow. What a oh, trade. Wow. I've never <laughs> seen a trade in that favor. <laughs> I actually have. That's pretty fucking weird. It's like, three. It's like, yeah, god damn it. <laughs> Ran right into the fireball. All right. All right, let's go. Disco lights for I'm days. You, disco is uh, disco's disco's back. Disco's, disco's back. back. Disco's back. Disco's back. All right. Trying to charge in there, but Honeybee doing a great job he's of just throwing. Uh, he's just throwing the obstacle course there at, at, at station. Right. So he might not get a mop, but I guess this is still a wash. Oh, the conversion! No way. That's a lot of scaling there because it started with a down two. Yep. But some damage is better than no damage. That's true. That's true. And for the flash, it's all about the situation. It's all about the mix. Down two, getting under the throw. Honeybee, where are you trying to throw me? I know you want me in this corner, but instead, you're going in this corner. Nice. Now, okay. Starfire is a power character. She does have the ability to bring down those icicle shards. Oh, he can't block. 
You can't block. Got a block, bro. Where are the Stardust going? Oh, Trying to pick him out the wow. down two. Don't. Still gets it. Okay, makes Good. sense. And Honeybee does have three bars. Stations he's, two. Will he use two? He's got he three used bars. zero. And he used one. I mean, dude, the flash does so much damage with his meter. The oh, down no. two into meter burn back three. The delayed wake up but gets thrown and that's it. And Station just kind of so shaking Honey his Bee head. Still gets the wash. He didn't get the mop. He at least got the wash. It was close, man. It was close. And if you it look was back close. at game two, game two was all Station. Yeah, it was. So it should have been 2-2 two -two in that situation. but Should have, but I don't know, man. Sorry, man. It happens. It happens. Sometimes you just kind of let things fall through the cracks. Sometimes you just can't really clutch it out in that situation. Yeah, that's and actually uh, one of the worst things to happen to you like in tournament. Like you have it right there, and then you just can't close it out. I have that problem. It's tough, man. It's a heartbreaker. Everywhere. Guys, hoodie season is here. Check it's out cold. this new lineup from Bifu Tech. He used the code SPARKLE for 10% off and free shipping because we all know we don't like buying anything online unless we get that free shipping. That's actually why I do it. But speaking of shipping, we got to ship ourselves to defend the north. Get over there. It's going to be in the city. Get yourself some real pizza. Some real pizza. All right, but now stop we got talking about the pizza. We got Quamba, baby. Quamba, 10% off site wide. Use the code NEC19. If you're being cheap, pick up a drone. If you're not being cheap, save up those pennies and get that obsidian. Or if you don't like playing on stick, just play on a Smashbox. Bro, everybody's doing it now. They're cheating. Is it cheating? Hey man, it's like stenographer stick, all right? It is crazy. You do get a lot of fast inputs on those hitbox. Winter Brawl 3D. This year, we're going to switch it up. Big E, paying tribute to a lot of 3D games. You're going to see Tekken 7, Soul Calibur 6, Dead or Alive 6. All the new ones. And Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. That's the only 2D one. Yeah, I feel like he just kind of threw that one in there. Like, yeah, whatever. You He's guys, like, you guys can have a corner. All right, all right, here you go. You guys want to be some animes? I like animes. Hey, man, who doesn't like some Tekken 7, though? I mean... Tekken Seven's great. Tekken 7? The World Tour? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. And not only that, like... We got to panda that one. The, the, the community. The community is so strong for that game, and the numbers show it. I mean, at every event, they're, they're just there. They're signing up. They're playing the game. Yeah, they love and it's crazy play. because they're playing it not just... Uh, they actually love this game. I mean, oh, it's yeah, been yeah. Uh, consistently almost like the same game since Fighters the beginning. Sure, Gotham yeah. City. It gets a little, little bit better each time. Mm -hmm. And their community is so tight-knit, and they have such a good following, even though they're not getting as yeah. much money as these other games. Like Injustice. Sure, sure. They got a 25 only for their world tour. So that's, that's just what happens, man. But that's passion. That shows it. It is. And right. right now we got some we got some hands from Bane. Get back here, doctor. Now this is Honeybee going up against Biohazard. These guys are brothers. These guys are training partners. These guys are teammates. So there's no trick that they don't know each other has. Wait, why does it say losers finals? This is losers finals. No way. Yeah, Biohazard lost to oh, Gurren. Yeah, right. Man, right. It, it's been a long night. It has been a long night. It's been a long night, but your top three is going to be Honeybee, Biohazard, and Gurr. Throwing out that orb. Looking wow, for the snap. The Wants to charge. Honeybee says, I'll wait. That's fine. Go ahead, Bane. Mindlessly try to charge in. I'm Bane. waiting for it. Right now he's getting zoned out. Oh, oh, oh right just as orb. I said that. Nope. Run level, the train. level three Venom. For those of you who don't know, not only gives them a hit of armor, but it gives Bane's special moves the invincibility to go through any projectile. Yep. I remember that was very annoying as a Superman player. You have to watch out for that level three Venom. Not only that, the, the invincibility to go through the projectiles, but it also gave his moves armor breaking abilities. Yep. So good. Super good. Now, Biohazard trying to get into that down one range. The range where he can really dictate a lot. That was Beautiful a very, back three. That was a smart back three right there. And definitely one of those ones that he picked up playing his brother all the time. Sure, why it's like, not? I know your bad habits. Boom. I mean, look, that's Bane is looking to make the, the – he's trying to close and, and put an end to the neutral game with a command grab uh -oh, or that Command elbow. grab loops. Oh, he tried it. He got back three for his troubles. Good conversion. Oh, let's go. Pop that trait. Oh, a little He's late fighting. there on the He's jump fighting. too. Oh, oh the four, he, he three. was watching it's his so feet. good. He was watching his feet way I too hard. 
I would have too. Like that spinny thing, it's definitely a kick coming after. And Honeybee taking that first game. Biohazard running to player select faster than I've seen anyone run yeah. to player select. Doesn't want this situation. They've been here. Oh, no. No way. He did it. Yep. Now, a lot of people feel like Dr. Fate wins this matchup. They feel like can Starfire can outzone almost a lot of anyone in the cast but except for Dr. Fate. Yeah, Dr. Fate's uh, projectiles are really fast. That's why. Let's see if we're going to see a, a, a Honeybee utilizing that that patented yeah. anti fire Look how much attack. damage it does. It, it, like Starfire had to use her uh, trait for that one, but... I mean, that trait comes back and back and back yeah, and that's back. True. So, I mean, is it really utilizing your resources? No, it's just kind of like making you... It just makes you Benji's wait a little bit. Let's go. These combos are so hype. Oh, my God. This is zoning right now. Honeybee's showing it. It's... It ain't so sweet sometimes. It's not. It's, it's tough out here for his owner. Oh, and that's going to chip out. No, not quite yet. Gets over it. But, wow, great patience from Honeybee. Didn't even press the button. He's like, you know what? Go ahead. Whiff. Whiff right in front of me. Oh, hitting him again. Not really looking for that clean hit. Biohazard clearly trying to get something here. Wow, that the back, back three. three. Yeah, that back three's got some great range. Ends it with the disco ball. And that trade, that trade's awful for uh, for Biohazard there. Leading full damage. Ooh, try to trick him out. Wow, push block into it. Shades of Injustice one. Could be, could be. Jumping. Uh, I'm sorry, the jumping three. It hits everywhere, everywhere. And I don't know. This is kind of looking good for Biohazard, considering his uh, last pick. But it, it, it's definitely looking better. I definitely don't think Bane as is As soon the as we answer. said that, uh, Biohazard's coming back. No, Honeybee's uh, dominating right now. The zoning, though. Oh, chip out. Oh, try to backdash it, but no luck. I'm going to let me out. <laughs> I'm going to let me out. I'm going to let me out. I want to see the, the win. It's <laughs> Dr. Like, bro, you good? Nah, I'm gonna let me out. Fighters I'm gonna let me out. <laughs> I'm gonna let me out of this zoning pressure. I'm gonna let me out of this onslaught of full screen projectiles. Uh, it's kind of rough out there for a magician. All right, I want to make a little a little sidebar note. Gur is actually not watching this match at all. Instead, wow. he's playing casuals because to him it doesn't matter which one of the. It doesn't matter who his opponent is. It doesn't matter which one of these <laughs> commander brothers. Are coming. Yeah, they're they're still getting these hands. They're getting these hands. This down three, <laughs> over and over again. Okay. <laughs> you gonna hold these down threes real quick? Why not, bro? Why not? Checking those right. projectiles. Right now, Biohazard doesn't have an answer for the zoning. Oh, oh he gets four, antsy. Hey, hold on, we're gonna slam him on the ground. We're Good waiting block. for him to do something. Good block. And a great block confirmed there by Biohazard. Meter burning to keep it safe. And that not meter burning to keep it advantage. Yep. Uh, to keep it Trying to get a standing reset, but uh, Honeybee just knew. He was like, you know what? You're not going to do anything. I'm going to jump. I'm out of here. I'm out. Peace out. Peace out, nerd. With your nerd helmet. Oh, man. Can we talk about how much chip damage this is doing? Oh, hold on. The harpoon. Let's talk about that whiff. Let's talk about that harpoon and the lasers, okay. lasers, lasers by Biohazard. Reminding me of my boy Soups. Harpoon. That harpoon. It, it recovers so quickly, and it's just like a great zoning option. Yep. But Vengeance of Horus in play. Oh, he went for the throw. The punish. Nice block. Almost got a whiff punish on that, and he gets this one. Honks up. Blocks the barrel. Checking him with a down one right after the forward oh, dash. All those down ones. Like, hold all of these, bros. Oh, we're gonna oh no. It hurts. DLT. It hurts. If Biohazard gets out of there, he says staying in here is not an option. Get me out, bro. Like, uh, he's trying to get himself back in. Nope. Good block. The block on the overhead. Jumping threes. Honeybee's and trying Gers to get it. Finally watching. Oh, Honeybee almost got it. No, oh, he gets it. And Biohazard going down at Honeybee. Honeybee looking for the run back here in Grand Finals. 
Not only does he have to beat Gurr in All a right. first to three, he's got to beat him in two first to threes Listen, to take this tournament. Gurr already beat both of them. He did. In the same night. So I don't think he's sweating it at all. I don't think so. That's why he wasn't watching the matches. Because he already knew how to beat them? Yeah. Just like, whatever. Because I already did it in winter. It's fine. Hey, I don't know, man. As soon as you and let I'm off still your guard. A winner. As soon as you let off your guard, especially to, to the caliber of players that are sitting there, especially <laughs> Honeybee. Especially when uh, Gurr kind of did that to me. Hey, we tell you guys. Finals, are you gonna, is it story time? Yeah, it's story time. We got we got a little time. Sure. So, go for uh, it. Give me a story. My friend Gurr over here. Uh, I asked him to split move me one time, you know. Okay, and now splitting, for those of you who don't know, it's when you get to grand finals and you're just like, you know what, I could use I could use the, the moral victory of, of splitting the prize with you no matter what the outcome is. Yeah, exactly. As long as you're cool with it, let's split the prize so no one is too salty when this is over. Yeah, exactly. So you ask him to split. I ask him to split, and I'm like, you know what, Gurr, like we're both in grand finals. Sure. You want to split? And then he turns over to me, very girl like. He was just like, <laughs> No way, man. You got to win two sets. And I was like, So you really don't want to split? Okay. He beat me the first game, and then he kind of like chuckled to himself. He was like, I don't know why this guy wanted to split. There's no way he's beating me. I beat him. No, it's a, <laughs> it's a true story. He, Gert, you did Gert's not on the side saying it's not true. All right, all right. So Gerd did not want to split with me. Is that correct? That is correct. You said I jumped You did chuck. You were laughing when you said it. You were like, <laughs> you got to win two sets, man. He was like, no, man, you got to win two sets. And I'm like, all right. And then he beat me the first game, and the, like he kind of like laughed. Like everybody was like, uh. Joy. And then I beat him six straight games. <laughs> six straight games. I won 6-1, Gerd. Is that true, Gerd? He remembers. He beat you six straight games? I beat you six straight games. Right, Gurr? Tell the truth. Oh, here we go. Now, now, now he doesn't remember. He's like, that's not what I said. It's like, I beat him 6-1, and then he followed me around the venue the rest of the night just going, oh, man. I didn't know they were going to have a trophy. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, that's 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 the, the dangerous thing, you know, and a lot of he players. He motivated me. I was already like, you know what? I was going to say, a lot of players feel what? like, and, and and this goes back to to when Chris G was on the East Coast. We oh, were yeah. going to a lot of the same local tournaments, and I feel like what Chris G liked to do a lot was the win meant more to him than the money did. Yeah. So he liked to put people in a splitting position because it let him kind of, you know, take away that flame, take away that fire that makes him really want to win. I mean, of course, everybody well, wants to it win. Takes a, it takes away the, uh, the edge. The edge. Definitely the edge. Like, you're like, damn, I really want this money, you know? I want 70% uh, instead of the 20, you know? Mm -hmm. So when uh, Chris G takes that away, it makes you relax more. It's like, oh, we're, we're basically splitting 50-50. So I'm, uh, that, I'm that, cool with that. That was 100 50's better than 20. That was 100% a Chris G tech back in the day. And I'm talking like the Injustice 1 days oh, yeah. when, when Chris G and KDZ were in a lot of grand finals together. Oh, yeah. I mean, it makes sense, you know. It yeah, but was not it, about but it, the but money. it was more than that. It was it was aggressive. He told KDZ, "No, it's okay. If you win, you can keep it. But I'm splitting with you." Oh, he gave. He didn't give him the option. Yeah, he He's said, like, "I'm he, still gonna give you more money." And then he forced you can't. On you him. can't really argue with that. It's like, and then no. It, it also <laughs> doesn't make. It makes you like hate the guy less, and you're just like, oh well. You know, he's right, kind of nice, nice to me. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't want to forward 2-3 may you to death. Maybe I can split with him next time. Wow. Uh, it was forward 2-3 breath. Whatever. Forward 2-3 to death. That's fine. Basically. All right. Gert going with those full screen stomps. Those stomps do hit low from very, very far away. And Honeybee and ready to pull the trigger. Charging. charging right in. I mean, can you can you expect a flash player not to charge in? That's true. What if he had an alternate costume that would announce his charges? Dun -dun, like what? Dun -dun, dun -dun. Is that is that the classic flash charge? Maybe. I, I don't think it is. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I don't think it is at charge. all. Charge! I love that high pitch Adam soundbite. It's so good. Oh, the overhead right into the flash kicks. Yeah, but he's not Gary, supposed to have a big voice. A 
I'm already ten steps ahead. I'm supposed to be able to hear him. He's in your ear. It's okay. Wow, he's out, Croc. Wasn't there a PlayStation game called Croc? Croc. I don't remember. Are you talking about Mac? I don't know. I don't know what Croc is. Oh, like a, like an like old the, PlayStation like old one. Like old PlayStation One game. Maybe I, I don't know. It's called Croc. I actually, as a child, I never owned a PlayStation One. Uh, my first PlayStation was PlayStation Two. Wow. I was a, How dare you skip the first one? I was a Nintendo kid, man. Not by choice. Nintendo lose. Not by choice. I, I mean, I had an older brother, so it was well, up to him. It's not even that. All our parents knew was Nintendo, anyways. So there's no way I was gonna get a PlayStation unless I specifically requested it. Meter burn forward oh three, God. and it gets whipped. No clash. Is this no gonna clash. be And you could see in that situation. Look at Gur's face. He's just like. <laughs> he's like, man, did I did I just give this up? I give it up. I three. He, I believe he three owed him in uh, on the winners bracket. He did. It was a clean. Th it was a mop. A very decisive mop. Quite a mopping. But uh, right now, I think he's. Uh, I think that story traumatized him. I probably shouldn't have told him in grand finals. Yeah, it, it's, you gave him like flashbacks of grand final scares while he was going to grand finals. It's like telling someone who's like shipping off to war, like, "Hey, remember last time you went to war and almost, you almost died? died? <laughs> Good luck." All right, man, don't get shot. It's like, or blown up. Sorry. There you go, blown up. That's the FTC oh, term. Up. Backing off. Gert wow. showing a little patience, but or I guess a little impatience. Give him uh, a little one, two, three there. Yeah, one, two, three. No one ever suspects that that third hit is coming out. Good Beautiful. throw. What? You can throw tech that? How can you throw tech that? You can't see you it. You can't see it. Wow, and that whiff punish, but nice block. Probably knew that uh, Honeybee wanted to mash down one, and here we go. Good conversion. Let's get some science in there, Professor. Now that science, that slug science, builds so much meter on block. Uh, so DLT. in that situation, it's a win-win for Gur. Goes right through it into flash time. Mm -mm. What's the reset? I don't know if we're going to see it. No standing position, but we do get a hard knockdown. And it's then we do throw. get the stagger into the throw. That was kind of like an American reset right there. Was it? No. He, he, yeah. dropped, he, he did the hard knockdown on purpose. No push block by Honeybee. He believes in his ability to block, but then he jumps at the last second. But still got a punish. That was uh, more than what Gur got off of that. Definitely. Oh, EX. Oh, just wow, charging it. Just blindly just charging it. Ah! it. <laughs> Giving him like the Bart Simpson. Just windmills. Ah! Windmill fist. Wow, he texts the throw again. Who are you? And what have this you done with Honeybee from Winner's Racket? It's the Flash go God Lord. Quick. That what? title was not given up. That's true. This it is, is Honeybee. This is Honeybee. He's ready. He warmed up on Biohazard with that swift 3-0. Oh. Was it a 3-0? It was close. Uh, it was 3-1. It was 3-1. Swift 3-1. Now he's ready to take on Gur. Yeah, he didn't get that R3-0 speed wagon. Wow, it, but he did get that drop, though. That was a big drop. That was that a game-winning dr drop. Drop, though. Well, he's blocking everything and successful punish. What do we got a little Yo, tech Are we going to get a mop? Got a little tech there, Gert. Yeah. Thinking extra hard. Like, oh, dude, man. I'm telling you, that story ruined him. I should have said that. I think you might have ruined him. No, he can bounce back. Where's Coach Steve? Flash. Coach Where's Steve? Steve's a great need, way to get. We need positivity back in the room yeah. for Gert. We need positivity in Gert's life. Gert's uh, getting lost in the darkness right now. He looks a little lost. If we can get a, a player cam in a second, let's get a player cam in between the rounds, especially if Gur gets mopped. But oh, he's trying not to get mopped right now. But down to wow. Can, can we talk nope. about it? Can we really better than it. not better than Black Adams? Are you kidding that me? Was, Decay? That was best. Black it's Adams not. hits from the front really far, but his hits is behind everywhere. It low profiles down into the ground, and it goes behind too. Hey, who does that? No, oh, yeah. I wow, say, was that punished? Did we talk about that? Was that punished? Was that punish? the punish? What side? Oh, oh my what god! What side was what he side? on? No, oh, he. No, you ruined it. How do you do a hot reset and then just drop it? I don't know, man. He needs. Uh, he needs to still warm up. Wow, he didn't take that throw. I. I kind of saw that. You saw it. Uh oh. It's easy to see it from here, man. Uh, the low. Oh, the low at the last second. What is that recovery? It's the extended recovery. Very unfortunate there for Gert. Wow. The worst timing it. It could possibly happen. It's like, oh, you only got a low at the end. Extended recovery. 
Oh, wow. That was perfect. Down two. Down one, two. It worked. Okay. You are trying to get a... Uh, He's hitting him everywhere. Get some of that trait back. That kills a lot of time. Does. The trait to recover. So that's actually really good for Gur to use it close to the end of the round. Double and the blocks. Oh, no punish. Just waiting back. I'm surprised I, he didn't do a charge. I, I think he just wasn't anticipating Gur to come out of it. And he was just holding was like, back. Staying on defense. Minute, no. Oh, that's going to be Punish City, baby. And We're going back to the corner. To the corner. We're going to mix up. Not sure what happened there. He held it for a little too long, didn't do anything. All right, that was actually really smart from Gur. Watch where you're going. Watch where you're going. Great oh. block confirmed there by Honeybee. Seeing it, recognizing, Honeybee. and backdashing. Honeybee getting close to super. Both players Gur have super. Gur has super. Is nice block. Getting, oh, oh gets the my throw. God, gets the throw. He's in super death territory. This is intense. This is so scary. Both players have full bar. Gur says, go ahead. Why did he pop it? Oh, my God. No. Oh, he, blocked he blocked it. it. He, blocked he blocked it. blocked it. Throw punish. He knew exactly. Yo! Oh! No single! <laughs> <laughs> that was a perfect time. That was actually pretty good. We had to censor the initial hit because it was so good. <laughs> Why? Why did what? that happen? <laughs> I think because Honeybee, like he broke the he broke the system. He's like, wait, you reacted to that? Game over. I'm. I'm what if it would have been Gur punching the console halfway across the room? <laughs> yeah. Just Boom. lifts up the PS4 <laughs> like mid super animation. <laughs> I can see that happening if, uh, oh, man. that was a reset. That was a mop. That was a mop. That was a resetted mop. These players are tied up 3-3, three to 3-0 three. No, three over 3-0. Both Gert players in the, in the losers bracket. Gert Both the players losers. on their last life. Yeah, Gurren the losers for the first time in this tournament. And right now the Flash God is putting some God hands on them. <laughs> How many down ones? How it's many like, down ones are you gonna give like, me? Oh, it's like, oh yeah, oh yeah. You think you down one? You want oh, down one? Down three is cute. How's down one? How's down one again? Nice blocks. Oh, he's blocking everything. Oh, into the throw. Okay, okay. Didn't avoid the throw. He had, he had to at least get something. Wow. Oh. I love the delay there by Honeybee. Waited for the arc of the jump to be over and just make sure that that was going to make a connection because chipper hit it was going to it was, was going to be enough yep oh are we going to see Peter some damage burn. here throwing down the slug building so much meter for the atom oh and that was so smart nice throw tech and honeybee holding on to this little bit of life but Gurr is definitely going to close it out with this combo oh no did i, I commentator's threw. curse Commentator's curse. You broke her. You broke him. I am the broker. Neutral jumps. Doing a lot for Gur right now. Oh. And the, the down three from Gur. I mean, did we see that coming or what? I mean, we know he's going to do it. Every Adam player does it. I'll take you down I heard that's how you claim. Just down three. Down when th in doubt, down three out. Look, man, you just don't understand. It low profiles. He just got a lab more. Dude, I've seen it used as an anti air, so I know it low profiles. <laughs> low profiles everything. It low profiles jump in. Down one. Oh, oh and Gert flash not ready time. for the overhead. Oh, Gert beating himself up. He definitely doesn't like that. And ooh, okay, okay. He's he's looking Come to back. fight. He's looking to fight. Oh, oh really? no, you're not beating that. That's God right there. <laughs> It should just have like just a beam of light that shoots up. <laughs> it's just it's, ah! it's such it's such a good down two. I cannot. It's the, I, I think it's the best down two in the game. Can we talk about that? I, look, Decay in the chat said Black Adam. I no, Black I, Adam. I disagree. I disagree too because I've been hit out of my down two before off of a jump in. I haven't seen that happen to the Flash. Do you want to ask Honeybee if he's ever been hit out of his Probably down two? Probably not. <laughs> Unless it was like another down two from a flash. I don't want to hear what he has to say about that. He'll probably downplay it. Let's go. Oh, oh check the it check. There. He's like, get out of here, yeah, fast let's, man. Let's, let's get aggressive, Gur. Get out of here, show him. Fast you man. can't just run up on me. 
<laughs> Yo, really? You gonna run up on me like that? <laughs> oh, okay. I don't think he wanted that transition. He definitely did it. It's not gonna do as much damage, and the Oki potential is basically gone. Yes, it is gone. Set back to like a little bit more of a, of a neutral uh, position. <laughs> oh, he, he, it, that, that was preemptive. He just preemptive. left him whiffing. Left him whiffing. Preemptive. Wanted nothing to do with it. Just eating gun. Oh, oh my, my leg! The my slug! Leg! The slug utilizing it in a perfect combo here. Oh, God, more leg! <laughs> He just, no, he's holding on to No, that's leg. the best part. He's like freaking out. He's like, oh my god. Ugh. I can't run. I can't outrun this slug. Oh my god, my leg. <laughs> I think we figured something out for Gur. He's like, damn, my leg is pretty good. Oh, oh dirty. The shimmy there by Gur. You're ready Ooh. to play. What Gur, happened? did you just wake up? What happened? He just. He faked the throw and jumped, neutral jumped. No, right but I mean, like, what happened? Gur was like, he was falling asleep before. He woke up, man. He woke up. I don't know, but he's catching some four threes. Oh, no! Oh, the, the punish. Wow, what a maniac. Wow. Did it Super. He decided not to use any meter because okay. he's holding it on. He's holding on to it for Super. Uh, he's definitely holding on to the Super. He could have killed him. Okay. <laughs> Hit him from behind. Yep. He didn't want to get chipped out. He was trying everything he could to possibly just yeah. avoid that Super. And he went right into it. And Gurr getting the first hit, overhead, overhead and then overhead. overhead again. Sometimes you got to do it on him. Oh, I think he punished down too. No, he didn't. Shut up. That's not true. <laughs> Honey Bee was That's like a something. myth. Uh, yeah, I punished him one time. I was like, no, you didn't. One time, I swear. I swear I punished him. Like, yeah, footage is like, no. I, I forgot to capture it on my PS4. It's probably altered footage too. There you go. Giving him the Donkey Kong. Yeah. Backing off. Hey, oh. man, he got proved legit because he actually beat the score. Uh, I, I think he only beat one of the scores. I think he Whatever. still got one of the scores to get to get back. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's a. Uh, and if you guys don't Billy know, Mitchell. if you got, I was gonna say, if you don't know who we're talking about, you're probably not nerds. But sure. Probably watch yeah. King of Kong. It's a good documentary. Did you know that South Park episode about Stan's dad taking the biggest crap was loosely based on the King of Kong? No. Yes, it is. Go back to that episode and see the comparisons. It's it's amazing. I'll try. So, amazing. The funny thing is, uh, I actually saw it when Walter Day went to North Carolina, uh -huh. and they showed it in like this like little theater. It was oh cool. yeah, yeah. So you saw it in a theater full of nerds. No comment. That, I mean, that's cool to me. Uh, look, Shut up. Uh, look, man, I'm, I'm nerd. Here watching it just. Yeah, whatever, nerd. I, I see this nerd, the Adam. This isn't nerdy. This is video games, all right, nerd. It's not nerdy. All right, slam in there with the overhead. Honeybee looking for that very active nice jump in and one. Of course he goes for the down two. Of course. Man. Oh, can I, can I regular punish? No, let's down two it. Can we talk about uh, the, it's it's the best down two in the game, man? It just is. It just is? I got it. I got it. I see where you're, I see where you're at. Just is. Waiting oh. for him. Waiting for him. Great oh, blocks by Honeybee. Big. Oh, wow. And OK. Honeybee not ready to punish, not ready to do something that time. But Honeybee does waiting, have super. He's waiting for super. He's waiting for super. Ah! Wow, and he took his time. Dab on him. What's the score? It's 2-1 Honeybee. I think it's 2-1 Honeybee or 1-1. One, one. No, it's 2-1. He two, just one. updated it. 2-1 Honeybee. Wow, and is Gert really going to let this go? He should. He maybe should have Look won. at all that water. Look he's that. hydrated. He's like, you know what? I'm going to drink my water. I don't, I don't know why. That, that voice was uncalled for. So I'm going to drink my water. That was very uncalled for. Why? Because I, I did, you didn't have to do that. Hey, man, I'm, uh, I'm Gers' inner uh, Kermit. Okay. I mean, it's just Gers sounds nothing like that. But. That's why I'm his inner Kermit. They're not supposed to sound the fucking same. Begin. Anyways, oh, Gurr gets the first hit. Are we esports or are we not esports? We're not esports. We're not esports today. All they right. told me we're not on the Disney Channel, so. Oh, that's right. That's Sorry. It. Sorry, guys. We're gonna drop some f bombs. Hitting him with a tombstone. Oh, Honeybee caught pressing buttons there. Not sure what he wanted, but and didn't block. Gurr definitely didn't want that drop, but gets the trade anyways. Backing off. Oh, trying wow. to backdash. Caught the backdash, but what happened? It, it just didn't connect. It didn't combo. Honeybee, you got some splaining, bro. Yeah, come on. 
regulate this character. Come on, what's the matter, you? Yeah, drop that knowledge. Oh, there oh, it is! Oh, no! Preemptive. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be anywhere near him. You know Honeybee's going to be doing Oh, oh, okay. He caught Honeybee doing some shenanigans there. You saw that charge up? Yes, yes. The, the, the run cancels? Yep. Love him. No, Running not even the run hits. cancel. No. He's just doing uh, the kick. Lightning kick. He held it for like a split second. It's like, you know what? Let's stop the silliness. Slug. Oh. Had to block the slug, but. Look at all that meter. It built so, so much, much meter. meter on block. Someone stop that. I mean. Apollo, please. Too late. It's regulate too late. that. Mortal Kombat's on the way. It's too late. Oh, he's dropping that science. Oh, he's, trying to, he's, he's trying to push him towards it. Honey B with the lightning kicks. Gauker does have super, and we know he's holding on to it. He's holding, he's gonna do it. Oh, he, he ripped it. He, he ripped him. it. He got him. He yep. got him. He ripped oh. it. Got it. Oh, final game, final round. We've been doing this the whole day. We're going down to the last games. Every set. Yeah. Reset. Even Ki. Even Ki could yeah. not get off the stream. Yeah. Ki Base could not get off the stream. Had to get reset. He was like, I want to play more Ki. There you go. So I'll pick a character who's gonna lose his matchup. Oh, we got that cam. Did you see that cam? That was oh, like no. that was like the Blair Witch we got, cam. We got Gur's favorite stage. Look at what he's going to. Oh, oh, there it yes. is. Oh, yes. If you didn't see uh, much of the Pro Series. And you didn't really see what Gur is capable of. On this stage. It's like, can we please get the stage? Final game. Did Gur pick the stage? Maybe. <laughs> no, I think we're going to have to replay it. There, there it is. is. Yes. Do it again. Stay there. Stay there. Just hit him with it. He's about to. If Come you on, can get a hit. Beautiful tech, honey Great tech. Great tech. Get away from that interactable. Get away. Yep. He wants Bring it. Bring him to the other side. Yeah. He wants it so bad. I would say even go for the trenches and yes, get away from that interactable because Gurr is going to abuse it. Wow. Way to cheer against Gurr. I was just cheering for him before. No. You know, no. I'm done. No. Okay. All right, here we go. And Gurr. Honeybee's looking to take this tournament after being oh. put into losers 3-0. Invincibility, uh -oh. interactables, we're engaging here. Ladies and gentlemen, we got engagements. We do, we do. Slamming him down there with the overhead at the end. Wow, mashing down to nowhere near him. He's like, you know what? Look at this. Look at what I got. Can you can you he tell me a reason not ball. to hit down two? Give not me one reason not to hit down two. I can't. can't. I'm going to have to come back to you on that one. Yeah. Please, do your homework. Good throw. Maybe he should have down two. He's gonna, oh, down three, okay. We're checking him in there, neutral jump three. Oh. Wow, headshot! Boom! Your ray gun game, faster than the flash. The answer is yes. It's Hold on, up. hold on, speed force activated. Coach Steve jumping out of his seat, waiting in anticipation to see if Gurt can do this. He's gonna throw his empty drink at Honeybee. Down three, checking him there. Honeybee, remaining patient. Not trying to get tripped up. This is final game, final wow. round. What a punish. Going to keep it unclashable? No. Oh, oh this no. is going to hurt. Beautiful Good air block. escape. Beautiful wow, air escape. Somebody just said that's a one-frame punish. I don't believe him. But Wow, he did his own throw on wake up? He did. He was possibly anticipating Ooh. one. Trying to keep it unclashable. Honey's got, Honeybee's got super. super. He's got super almost. Oh, my God. He has super. This is so scary. Where is wait, he? Wait, wait, where is he? Oh! oh! Jesus. And Honeybee. Honeybee taking it. And he that says, Hi! The, the, I'm we, the Flash God Lord. I, I think there was another F word before. No, no, no. Esports? E We're keeping it esports. Making the comeback over Gurr, not only resetting the bracket with a 3 out, but finishing him in the perfect style. Giving Gurr a taste of his own medicine That's with that crazy. super at the end. That is nuts. And Honey The guy who loves using super got super. He loves it. I, I didn't know what happened there. I don't Honeybee didn't know what happened either because he waited. He waited, he popped the super, and he's just like, wait, wait, wait. He's, did did yeah, I win? He could have pop off right did away. Did I win? And then just what? Yes, as I did. As soon as it hit. As soon as it hit, it was instant pop off. Huge, huge shout outs to the pop off camera brought to you by Combat, Combat Network. Network. Brought to you by Dawson's GoPro camera. I thought you were going to say Dawson's Creek, but sure. No. Good old Dawson.
behind the scenes. Not even here, but behind the scenes. And Gurr Gurr's contemplating. Still at the station. Can we uh, can we get a yeah, camera we, on Gurr? Yeah, a little camera. No. He's super sad. He's super yeah, salty. He's, he's really sad. I feel Ooh. Bad. You know, and it honestly it means a got, lot to him. And again, this is does. the situation. This is where you can see the passion. There wasn't really, you know, a lot of money on the line, there but wasn't. but Gurr wanted it. He wants to win. It doesn't matter what's on the line. He competes for the sake of competing. He competes for the love of the game. He does. He loves the game. I agree. And you and, know, and and what I, mean, I see that there, pop off right there like really hurt Gurr. I like he did. sat there and like he took the whole thing. He's like all laughs and smiles right now, but deep down he sat there like right after the match ended, he didn't get up. Sat there. You can feel it. I I hurt. You you can feel the emotion there from got, Gurr. We got invaded by a Canadian guy. I we guess. did. We did. Gurr could not stop the Canadian train that was. I don't know. Honey maybe Bee. it was like it was too much for him. Like, cause like he played Honeybee, then he played his brother right after, and then he played Honeybee again. And Honeybee was just—he was still hot from uh, he three was. owing his brother. Wait, was it three oh. zero? I believe it was three one. It was three one. See, now I got confused this time. I took it. You corrected me last time, unless that was wrong. But you know, it goes back to showing you what could happen when you're sitting in grand finals and you get a little too comfortable. You, you, your hands kind of forget what to do. You're not warmed up as well. And Honeybee on a tear through losers. Yeah. I mean, that was the Honeybee show well, I mean, I for think a long time at the end there. I think that's the thing. Like, once you get, you know, situated in winter side of grand finals, it's like, man, he's got to beat me six games. I'm good. I'm good, dude. I think your I got story, more games to adjust. And then. I think your story broke him a little bit, too. I think that's what happened. It was like, <laughs> fla it was flashback. Right before grand finals, too. That was bad. Sorry, girl. You're a bad Bobby friend. Bro. No, you love Gur. I mean, we both do, but Gur is like one of my favorite people in the FGC. It's hard not to love him. So I mean, are you? All right, guys. I think this is it for us tonight. I think that's huge, a wrap. huge shout outs to Big E for yes. letting us do this. Not Thank only you. just the Injustice Two portion of the stream, but also uh, just just running MKX. Uh, you know, it's MKX a game. was great. MKX was so hyped to watch. I mean. Again, my favorite players didn't win, but whatever. It happens, man. It happens. Losers. Unpredictable. Way to, way, yeah. way to let me down, man. Way to let them down. Side bet money. Goodbye. But, no, huge shout-out to Biggie. And huge shout-out to Combat Network for holding down the stream, as always. Get the out of here. Lord. <laughs> Go to his YouTube. See more yes. of him later. I'm the Flash God Lord. He is the Flash God Lord. And, uh, you know, if you guys love seeing Honeybee, make sure you pay a visit to his YouTube channel. And make sure you contemplate on the idea of participating in his patreon he does a lot to give back to his fans and also watch for him in uh, mk11 no the countdown continues it continues every day what do we have we're like uh 129 100, days 129 days 130 days something like that yeah so <laughs> i remember i kept seeing dabs specifically that oh, would be everyone kept on doing twitter it. no kept he's still doing it this hey. today he was just like a girl was like, "I got something. I got something that you need." And then he just like, "You don't have MK. You don't have MK11. Get out of here. <laughs> you didn't get invited." The MK invite. No. Again, huge shout outs. NEC. If you guys are interested in watching the rest of the tournament, so caliber six. This Absolutely. Still going on. It's still going on, but it, it the competition for that game here it's is ridiculous. Insane. They have international competition. This so much. Kayane in the building. For those of you who don't think that girls can compete at a high level in Soul Calibur or any fighting game. Whatever. I'm just saying, No, man, she is really good. She is super. She's ridiculous. Like, uh, I think she was good at Street Fighter 4, kind of. I mean. At the beginning. I don't think it was Soul Calibur, so I don't think that was really her game. But again, guys. Again. Huge shout outs to everyone who made this possible. Huge shout outs to Combat Network. Huge yeah, shout outs. Yeah, thank you Combat Network. And right now, Gurr's getting vlogged. By Honeybee. This is uh, <laughs> behind the scenes of Honeybee's vlog setup. I hope he like smacks the camera out of his hand. Like, yeah, get out of here. I don't want to like, stop this interview. stupid vlog. All right, I'm going to stop this stream. All right. All right, guys. No, you're not stopping it. I'm stopping this stream. Go ahead. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching, tuning in. If you were with us the whole day, you've seen these hoodies. It's embedded in your brain. Buy them. Bifu Techie. Get some sparkle in your life. Look at that black and green. It's just perfect. Look at that Blanca. That Blanca. That electric Blanca bulb. bulb? That's great. Defend the North. Actually, in New York City this year. So make a trip out of it. Go sightseeing. Get, Get some, some pizza. pizza. Some I real pizza. You. I hate you. <laughs> New York, that is the only pizza. It's not called New York pizza. It's called pizza. Bamba, and, USA .com.
Ten percent off if site you're cheap, wide. If you're cheap, just get the drone. You you get the drone for your girlfriend, and then you beat her up with the obsidian. There you go. Sorry, baby, I couldn't afford two obsidians. <laughs> Hitbox, Smashbox. Everybody's playing Smash, so you might as well cheat if you're a stenographer. <laughs> it is. If you're a stenographer, this is the stick for you. This is it. This it's is the, it. It's the cheat box. Winter Brawl 3D this year. We're going to be playing Tekken 7, So Calibur 6, Dead or Alive 6, and Blaze Blue. Stay tuned for more information. This February, book your hotels. At hotels.com. No, I'm just kidding. Don't go to hotels.com. I, lo I love hotels.com. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, nerd. No, but I guess you can't use the... the, the you get the promo the code, code on there? I you didn't the think code. so. You need the code. Go to BigEgaming.com to find out more. We got one more? I think that was the last one. No, it's not. It's like a time thing, so we have to wait for th this one. We, we got the most time for this one. Because it's the next event. There and go. there we go. Nightwolf. Are we still Night alive? Nightwolf. Are we still alive? We still, he's like, yeah, we're still alive. We're still alive. I'm putting down the mic. See you later.